man, I donked that up. Restart the stream. Uh, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome to Corinne Cross's Dead and Breakfast. This is either Darkest Dungeon or we're playing from the perspective of a dead person. Yeah, you got me. This has been Darkest Dungeon all along. Anyway, hello. I thought, I felt for today I needed a little break from Darkest Dungeon. I don't feel like my heart is in it right now. I have to do too much thinking. Oh, uh, hang on. OBS. Oh. Why wouldn't you let me pick stuff in the- Oh! Oh no, the game crashed. Or I might have just closed it by accident. Haha. <laughs> hang on. Let me restart that and then we will carry on. Dead air. So how's everybody doing, huh? Okay. We good? Okay. I wonder if I can resize the game window without it getting wonky on me again. Good. Okay. Now let's let's carry on. Ooh. Did you bring flowers for Mrs. Styron? Yeah, Mom. Good. Go visit her tomorrow at the hospital and drop them off. I will. Try not to mention Gail. I will. You will mention Gail? What? No, I'll try not to mention him. Gosh, Mom. <sighs> Listen, sweetheart, I really appreciate that you're doing this. You didn't really give me much of a choice. Corinne. I mean, isn't there anyone else who could do this? I never even talked to Gail after high school. I've never even met his mom before. What am I supposed to say to her? I don't know. Isn't that what they taught you at writer school? What? No. Corinne, I'm sorry, but there just isn't anybody else. That woman is sick with grief. I mean, Gail was all she had. She's lost everything. The least you can do is look after her house while she's in the hospital, all right? Just please, Corinne. It's only for a week. Seven days. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Mom. It's just so weird. I know, sweetheart. Don't worry. All you have to do is water the plants, get the mail. It'll be easy. Yeah, I can do that. Besides, this'll be good for you, sweetheart. You can use your free time to focus on your writing a bit. You'll have to put that degree to you someday, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it, Mom. You can always call me if you need help with anything. Thanks, Mom. I think I'll be all right. I have to go. My bus is here. Good luck, Corinne. Yeah, Corinne's very cute. I like her hair as well. Writer school left out condolences in your year too. Check out that 90s style pattern on the bus seats. Well, bus seats always have that pattern. Finally here. I'm exhausted. One time you were house sitting for some family friends and their two cats. You did make some writing progress, shockingly, but mostly you played with cats and ate everything in their fridge. Good. Styron family bed and breakfast? That can't be right. Excuse me, uh, is this Mrs. Styron's house? Ah, uh, you must be Miss Cross. Yeah, sorry, how do you know me? Julia told me you'd be coming to look after the house. So this B&B &B is her home? Indeed, although it's long ceased operations as an inn. It's simply the Styron family home now. Oh, thank goodness. I wouldn't know anything about running a B&B. So are you and Mrs. Styron friends? We've been neighbors for many years. My cemetery is adjacent. You can see it at the end of the garden path there. Oh, wow. Are you a mortician or something? 
No, I was a funeral director. However, like the bed and breakfast, my business is retired. Now I simply look after the property and tend to the graves. Wow, that's pretty cool. Indeed. Julia rang and asked me to give you the key to the house. Here you are, Miss Cross. The weird lady gave you the house key. You can open the front door now. I should have tried to break in. Oh, thank you. Hmm, those flowers you have there. Are they for Mrs. Styron? Oh, yeah, I was going to visit her at the hospital tomorrow. They're no good. Uh, sorry? Flowers that have been cut are no good. They've lost their roots. They'll rot quickly. Uh, okay. Follow me. Don't dawdle. This way. What is the point of house-sitting if you don't help by making sure the food doesn't go bad? Take this. The weird lady handed you a watering can. Oh, it's empty. Ugh. You can replenish it at the spigot. I open your inventory. Watering can will face in the spigot. What do you mean it's not pre-filled? This is so hard. Ooh, a laptop. What do you mean this doesn't seem right? Did I do it? Oh, maybe I have to face it and then... There we go. You can just claim a cemetery as your own. As you were a funeral director, you should know all about horrible sympathy bouquets. Okay, it's all filled up. Good. Now I want you to water this potted plant over here. Simply use your watering can on it. Okay. It's a potted plant. It's almost fully bloomed, but it needs some water. Oh, do I have the menu for this? Is that enough water? I've never really gardened before. You've done well. The plant will be able to grow now. By tomorrow, it will be in full bloom. You'll be able to take it to Julia at the hospital, and it will not wilt like your bouquet of severed blooms. I've got to admit, this is nicer. Thanks for the lesson, Miss... Um... You may call me Hermina. You're an interesting girl, Miss Cross. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Uh, alrighty then. It's getting late. I'm sure you're exhausted after your travels. I'll bid you a good night. Bye then. Even if you're a retired funeral director, you're just gonna dress like that all the time, huh? What a weird lady. Still, I'm kind of excited to see this little guy in bloom. Me too. Hmm, I guess I'll have to wait longer for it to grow. Apparently both of the weird vines you just received were originally sympathy gifts to various people at various times. And those people were like, why do I need a plant because I have a dead relative? And individually gave them to your neighbor. Who gave them to you because she bought them home, brought them home to her cat, and the cat turned out to be allergic to them. So this is it. Oh, gotta get the Wi-Fi password. No? Okay. I mean, that's how I feel about TV anyway. Time to snoop. Can I water this plant? Nice. Yeah, poor cat. I didn't know cats could be allergic to... Well, I guess it makes sense thinking about it. Wow, a sitting parlor. This house is kind of old-fashioned. Just gonna go around and water all your plants, because that's what a good house sitter does. I sort of ha house sit a couple times, but it was more looking after someone's cats. Some sheet music, board games, and books for children. They were uh, Siamese, Bishop and Apollo. They had very loud, insistent meows. That's a lot of chairs. I know one of them, I don't know which one it was. What do you mean this doesn't seem right? Can I not water? Um, there we go. Would climb on the couch behind me and gently put a paw on the top of my head. Um, maybe like they were playing duck, duck, goose. Maybe I should learn how to cook. Yes, you should. I can't believe you don't. It's a very important skill. I'm just going to leave the stove on and burn down the house. Better not. One of the cats, I don't recall if it was the same one, would also get behind me on the couch and then just start grooming my hair. Which, thank you, I just washed it. Now I have to wash it again. Wow, this house just keeps going. 
I better find a room I can sleep in. I'm exhausted. Smudge was allergic to so much. He was on Zyrtec for life. I guess this will be my room. I should put my laptop somewhere. Toggle hints on and off. Oh. I mean, that would be good just so I'm not... There we go. Mindlessly poking everything. Hoping to get an interaction. I mean, before we put our stuff down, we have to snoop. Oh, it's locked? Willow sometimes grooms your hair when they're in the recliner. Weird, weird but charming. Yeah, I, I think it probably means she loves you. Or she feels like your hair is unclean. Gardening for idiots, yes please. Any idiot can garden. All the supplies you'll need are available at the florist. You'll need pots, dirt, and seeds. First, you need to place a pot on a saucer. Then, fill up that pot with dirt. Sprinkle some seeds on the dirt, and then water with your watering can. White flowers need to be watered every day, but other plants only need to be watered once a week. Soon you'll have a garden full of beautiful flowers. I feel like that's grossly oversimplifying things, but... What do I know? I'm not a gardener. A cookbook here, but it would probably mean more to you if you knew how to cook. Well, learn by reading the cookbook. Jeez. Still locked. Oh, this is Silent Hill. Oh, I think this is Mrs. Stry Stryan's room. I already forget how I was saying her name. Wasn't it Styron? Has it been Stryan? Oh, no, it's been Styron. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Sorry while I snoop in your stuff. I mean, cats with allergies make sense. I can't believe I forgot about Smudge. Just, I forgot you could give them stuff like Zyrtec. Okay, let's put down the laptop. Perfect. Maybe I should write a little before I go to bed. Check Insta face. Oh, we gotta we gotta write. Let's be responsible. Oh, this is save. Okay. What is on Insta face? Elise posted a status update. Did Gail Styron really die? What happened? Oh, man, just reading on the internet with the emote and all the punctuation, it just hits different. Hello, Carrie. Oh, there's Chivos. Cool. Smudge is really easy to medicate compared to some cats you have known. It's so weird to think he lived in this house and he's gone now. He was the same age as me. <sighs> what time is it? I wish I could force myself to sleep. Yeah, me too. What the? Seriously? It's in the middle of the night. Hello? Come outside. I... What? Come outside, Corinne. Come to the garden. Was that? What is the deal over here? So there's a lady who's... In the hospital, um, I believe her son, I'm assuming her son just passed away. So we're taking, we're house sitting her residence, which used to be a bed and breakfast, so we're told. Oh yeah, this, this girl has a writing degree and is house sitting for a mom, for the mom of a friend she had in high school. No mail. That's impressive that Smudge would just inhale his medicine. I mean, hang on, I'm gonna refill my watering can. I mean, I know I've had to give medicine to cats and they would do everything they could to fight it. Hermina? Good evening, Miss Cross. What's going on? It's the middle of the night. You weren't sleeping. You're an insomniac. Uh, yeah. How'd you know that? You get a good sense for these things when you run a funeral home. Do you? Do you? I guess. Well, how'd you know my phone number? Funeral director. Julia left it for me. I suppose she thought I might be of some assistance to you, given my familiarity with the B&B. &B. Oh, well, what do you want? Come with me, and make sure you have some water in your watering can. Uh... 
okay, way ahead of you. I mean, I don't know if any funeral directors, I'm not a funeral director, maybe they just know things. There we go. You called me out here in the middle of the night to water a half-dead plant? Hermina, no offense, but you're kind of a creep. The plant isn't dead, only a little wilted. I'm sure the soul who rests here will appreciate some blooms on their grave. Whose is it? Is it... you know... No, not him. Someone else. Many people have been interred on my property. What's the point of this anyway? They're dead. They don't care about flowers. Perhaps not, but it still matters. If you see a wilting plant, don't be so quick to dismiss it as a weed. It might just need some care and a bit of water. Okay. Do me a favor and handle this yourself from now on. I prefer to rest at this hour. Right, not like I really have anything better to do. I'll leave the gate open for you at night. Good things come to those that pay their respects to the dead, Miss Cross. I will leave you to your restlessness. Good night, Miss Cross. See ya, Hermina. This lady is very odd, but I kind of like just how... I don't want to say forceful exactly, but... Like, uh, confident. She's very confident. And you have to be confident to wear that kind of outfit all the time. Call someone in the middle of the night and be like, it's your job to water this plant from now on. No preamble. Hey, the Wi-Fi password's been scribbled off. We're gonna turn that on. I don't think I should leave the stove on. Uh, okay. Yeah, she's very direct. That's a good way of putting it. Oh, that's the bathroom. Whoops. These toy cars were not here before, yes? Like the red one that's by the scribbled out Wi-Fi password. Aspirations. I don't think I'd want to wear that outfit, though. I mean, the whole rest of her, her attitude is cool, but the outfit, not my style, personally. Anything new on InstaFace? A message from Cindy. Hey, Corinne, did you hear that Gail Styron died? Oh my god, like, weren't you guys friends? Very sensitive. Try to sleep. Me every night. Ugh. I'm so tired. At least I managed a little bit of sleep. <sighs> okay, today I better go visit Mrs. Styron at the hospital. Any more plants? I gotta water. It said I only have to water the white flowers once a day, but I don't know what's white. Or rather, white flowers I have to water every day. Oh, doesn't need any more water, but I don't know uh, what the rest of the plants. Um, okay, let me try that again. Nothing has bloomed yet, so I don't know if they're white flowers or something else. Ugh. Who knows, you might be into it when you're old. Suddenly, goth. Everybody becomes goth at a certain age. Nothing changed? Okay. I guess let's go pick up our plant. No mail? No. Oh. Oh, wow, the flowers bloomed. I hope Mrs. Styron will like these. I got the gift flowers. Cool. Oh, I guess it's only open at night. Old goths are the coolest goths. Agreed. Like, they committed. Oh, was this ours? Did somebody leave it for us? Oh, wow, it's a bumblebee scooter. There's a note attached. Miss Cross, this was Gail's scooter. Feel free to use it while you're looking after the house. The key is attached. Hermina, I got the key to the bumblebee. You can now use the scooter to go out. Awesome. Let's go to the hospital. Yeah, it reminds me, I always like the look of Vespas, but I wouldn't want to drive one around here, especially just with the highways and all the large construction vehicles. Not safe. Um... Mrs. Styron? 
That was I accidentally my mouse out of the game. Good. Who's that there? Please come a little closer. It's Corinne. Corinne Cross? Uh, you're friends with my mom, Nicole Cross? Oh, you're Nikki's girl. I appreciate you looking after the house. I wasn't expecting you to come visit me. I haven't had any visitors at all. Not even Hermina. She hasn't been bothering you, has she? Oh, no, she's been nice. She even helped me grow these flowers for you. I gave Mrs. Styron the gift flowers. Oh, they're lovely. That's very sweet of you. I'm sorry, my dear. It's been hard to find my smile since Gail passed. Excuse my poor manners. I... No, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't even imagine. It's... That... Uh, he was such a good boy. You knew him, didn't you? Yeah, we were the same year in high school. He was super nice to everyone. And like, the smartest kid in class. We kind of lost touch after I left town for college, though. You're a sweet girl, Corinne. I'll have to thank Nikki for sending you to look after my things. It's no problem at all. I think I should rest now, dear. I hate to ask you to leave, but I'm terribly tired. It's no problem. I hope you feel better. Did we deliver the flowers, Corinne? Bothering is sure a word. Hi, Hermina. Hello, Miss Cross. Did the flowers bloom to your liking? Definitely. They looked great. Thanks for your help. How was Julia? She seemed pretty down. I don't know if the flowers really helped. They did. Sometimes the effect of an action is not immediately discernible. I assure you the sentiment will not go unappreciated. I hope so. I have some things for you. Hand me some pots, soil, and seeds. Gardening supplies? I don't think Mrs. Styron will really want any more flowers. Not for Julia, although I'm sure she'll be glad that her garden is being tended to. I noticed you have quite the green thumb. You can raise flowers and sell them to the florist for a bit of income. Oh, I guess that doesn't sound so bad. It was kind of nice seeing the flowers grow like that. And I could use some pocket money. Good. Here, I'll provide you the address of the florist. Cool, I can travel to the florist. You can sell your flowers there and purchase supplies for growing new ones. You need to place a pot, fill it with dirt, plant the seeds, and then water them. If you need some guidance, I believe Julia has some gardening books in the library. Cool. Thanks, Hermina. My pleasure, Miss Cross. Uh, you can just call me Corinne. I must be on my way now, Miss Cross. Even a retired funeral director has little time for idling. I think the other graves are beginning to envy the one you tended to. It's got quite a pretty little bloom there. Good day, Miss Cross. Vespas are really cute, but not having anything between you and the road is no thanks. Yeah, that's also my rationale. Is the gate still locked? Oh, look at this. I guess I gotta do some menuing. Oh, I only got two pots. Jeez, how cheap. I don't know why I didn't just do that all in one go, but... Oh, I have extra seeds. It's mostly the drivers you're scared of because they seem to not notice you in the car, so on a scooter they ain't gonna see. Yeah, I definitely get that anxiety. Um... Plus, the other thing here is that the weather is often harsh and unpredictable, and you would only get so many good days for actually riding a Vespa. I like that Hermina just assumed we knew how to drive a Vespa, or that we had our license at all. I don't need to water this, right? I'm just gonna check. Okay. Uh, I guess we should read the gardening book, or maybe go to the florist? Well watered. Okay, I can check without pulling out the can. Somebody didn't pay their cable bill.
You work on paperwork after car accidents, so that has increased your already high awareness that most people suck at driving. Ugh. That's a trendy looking young adult. They definitely know how to handle a Vespa. Joel posted on Gail's page. Gail! This is a joke, right? Dude, please have some, I don't know, decency? Some sensitivity? Just poking around, making sure there's nothing I've missed. Maybe we'll check out the florist. I want this baseball bat, but I cannot get. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't have my license, is that just other people driving makes me really nervous. Still won't learn from the cookbook, will ya? No. I think technically I'd be okay at it, but... Okay, I've already read that. It's just the rest of it, I think, would be too much. Plus, I'm perpetually exhausted. I know whenever I go see the sleep doctor, they always ask, You don't drive, right? No? Okay, good. Everyone is tactless on the internet. No one is surprised. Chloe's roses. Well, I'm immediately thinking of Chloe from Etrian Odyssey, but she would only grow, I think, very bizarre, strange, monstrous plants. I guess I should talk before I just grab stuff. Howdy there! Name's Chloe. Haven't seen your face before, so what's your story? Hi, I'm Corinne. I'm looking after Mrs. Styron's house while she's in the hospital. No kidding? Poor Julia. I heard Gail had passed, but I had no idea she was sick again. Maybe I should knit her a quilt or something. Anyways, what can I do for you, Corinne? Well, I'm looking after Mrs. Styron's garden. I came here to get some supplies and stuff. A neighbor told me... A neighbor? Oh, you must mean Hermina. How is that weird old bat? Uh, she's... Let me guess. She told you all about how flowers need roots and all that, right? Yeah, she said that, kook. Still, she gives me a lot of business with that funeral home of hers. Sends all her customers my way for their floral needs, you know? I... Of course, I don't get so much business from her now that she's retired and all. Guess all that land of hers got filled up or something. Still, some people like to leave flowers on the graves and all. I get some business from that. Gee, sorry for talking your ear off. It's just that I get real bored sitting around the store all day. It's nice having someone to chat with. Anyway, if you want to buy supplies or sell me flowers, that'd be just fine. I've got everything you could need. Can we can we get a word in edgewise now? I don't have a lot of dollar dues, but... Just to go with the seeds we've got, I guess I can't really afford anything else right now, but... Now you take good care of Julia's garden, alright? I will. Yeah, I like, I like how big and strong she is. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't go back there. Uh, sorry. Can I water her flowers? No. Okay, just checking. Do her job for her. Clear out of words, edgewise or otherwise. Is there anything for me if I... Okay, we already visited her today. Pretty difficult to qualify for a driver's test if you're under a certain age here. You need to record 100 hours of driving, including 10 hours of night driving. No. Oh. So how do you do that if you uh, don't... How do you do the driving to qualify for a test if you're too young to actually get a license? Or I suppose it's with the learners. That would make more sense now that I stop and think about it. I don't want to drag things down by investigating everything and every opportunity, but I'm worried I'm going to miss something. Nope. Still this guy. Ugh, not again. Oh. What was that? Oh, we're being robbed. Let's post on InstaFace. Eric sent you a message. 
What's up, Cross? Did you hear Gail died from high school? Surprised you weren't at his funeral from high school. Thanks. I know I heard something. Is it coming from one of the rooms? Should have got that baseball bat. Oh. What the? Boo! What? I... What? I... Want... Your... Soul! <laughs> just kidding! Did you get scared? Don't worry, I'm not a ghost. I'm just a normal kid. What are you doing here? Who are you? I'm Alex. It's short for Alexandria, but that name is dumb. So I just tell everyone to call me Alex. Actually, if you want to call me the Annihilator, that's okay too. I think I'll stick with Alex. So, Alex, what are you doing here? I'm just playing. Do you know Mrs. Styron, the lady who owns this house? Nope. Why? Where are your parents? They must be worried sick about you. Nah, they know I'm here. Really? Still, I think we should call them. No! They're sleeping. If you call them, they'll wake up. Mom says it's important to get a lot of sleep. You don't say. Well, uh, how about you go to sleep for now? In the morning, we can call your parents, okay? Okay. I call this room. Good night, Miss Lady. Uh, it's Corinne. Good night, Alex. We're, we're just going to accept that, huh? Okay. Very spooky. Still locked, still locked. Still can't get the baseball bat. Just checking. Something about the cadence of her footsteps on the ground reminds me of just... Oh, spooky. Is there an alien broadcast? No. Of Mario's walk cycle in The Thousand Year Door. Just It's the same tempo, I think, of footsteps. No, I guess I can't leave it on. There's just a child here now. It happens. Was she just waiting in there, wearing that sheet with the eye holes cut out, waiting? A blooming flower decorates this grave. You're a white one, so I don't have to water you again, right? Or no, you're the ones I have to water every day. I already, I already forgot. No, they're the ones I don't have to water. Whatever. Ghost child. Ghost child. Ah, uh, no night driving. White is every day, other or not. Other is not. I thought it was the other way around. I get. Da -da -da -da. Okay, yeah, white flowers are every day. I could remember a lot when I put my mind to it, but that is not one of those instances. Especially when I'm distracted, it's much harder for me to retain information. Was that a crazy dream last night, or is there a little girl here? Night driving is the best driving, though. I mean, it's got the best atmosphere. Megan updated her status. Can't believe someone from high school passed away. Gail was too young. An important reminder to appreciate every day. Hashtag life. Hashtag love. Hashtag blessings. Ugh. I mean, people cope in their own ways, I guess. Oh. Uh, Alex, where'd you go? She's not here. Awesome. All right, well, goodbye, ghost child. I assume she's not in any other room, but, you know. This is the music I was talking about before the stream. The... Something, like a commercial from a corporation saying, We love family. And we know that we're all going through this hard time together. Oh, hey, Hermina. Good morning, Miss Cross. 
Hey, uh, Hermina. I see you're inside the house now. How is looking after the house treating you? Uh, it's been interesting. Last night there was some little girl in the house. I wanted to call her parents, but when I woke up, she was gone. A girl? Hmm. What? What was that? Hmm. You are a very interesting young woman indeed, Miss Cross. What? Why? Why do you keep saying that? You have an uncommon connection with the dead. It's very rare. What? Don't fear that connection. Okay, that was creepy-ish. Alright, uh, just gonna roll with that. Oh boy, the rainbow shows on TV. My favorite. It makes you feel like there's a shady content creeper creeping behind you. Yeah, I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, ghost child left. We went into the room. But nobody was there. Ooh, mail. A letter from mom? Corinne, thanks for doing me this favor. Thought I'd send some money to help out. See you soon. Love, mom. There is $30 attached. All right. Well, let's go buy some more gardening supplies. Although, actually, has anything grown yet that we could sell let's make uh the most of our day okay not yet cute little sprout though all oh, right i actually have to there we go okay so just a watering can I can't... No, okay. I'm just gonna poke everything in your room first. Hi, Mrs. Styron. Oh, Corinne. I didn't expect you to come visit me again. Huh? I'm happy to stop by. It can't be fun visiting a sick, depressed old woman. I don't mind. How are you feeling today? Still nauseous and fatigued. I've struggled with this illness for a long time. My health had been improving, but when Gail died, I... I'm sorry. That must have been very hard on you. It was. When my husband died, I was devastated. But Gail was there for me. He helped me see through those sad times. I was so proud of him. He never let anything take his smile from him. And that kept me smiling, too. But now Gail's gone, and I... I thought my husband's death taught me how to grieve, but nothing could have prepared me for this. Mrs. Styron, I'm sorry, dear. You're kind enough to visit me, and I reward you with all kinds of sad stories. That's okay, Mrs. Styron. I think talking about it is good for you. I suppose you're right. You knew Gail, even if only a little. Somehow that thought comforts me a little. I should rest, Corinne. I'm terribly tired. All right. I'll see you later, Mrs. Styron. Corinne is a nice lady. She is. A good gal. It is okay, Mrs. Styron. Is it? Is it? I don't know. I would contest that. I think things are most emphatically not okay. Hello, big talky lady. Hey, Corinne. How's the gardening going? It's going all right. This is my first time doing anything like this, so I'm still kind of learning the ropes. Ah, oh, you'll get used to it. Plants are easy. They just want water and some sun. Oh, and some dirt. And maybe even some conversation. Conversation? Sure, if you're bored, you can talk to your plants. They're good listeners. I heard talking to a plant can help it grow, but maybe that's just an old wives' tale. What do you talk to your plants about? Oh, you know, this and that. Heck, I spend so much time alone in the shop that I'd probably go crazy if I didn't have someone to talk to. Or maybe I already am crazy since I talk to plants. <laughs> maybe. Just gonna go right into buying stuff. Okay. Uh, can't quite afford another set. Or wait. 
No, just can't quite afford it. I thought I did the math wrong in my head, but no, I did the math correctly. Cannot afford another set. Figures, one dollar short. Oh, she was apologizing for telling you sad stories, but as Corinne said, it's good to talk things out. I agree. I hope we can actually talk to all the plants now. Well, I'll just put this down for later. My mom used to garden a lot, and I'd help her out sometimes. I remember her planting bulbs and whatnot. Things like tulips and tiger lilies. Been a long time since then. Kind of miss it. All right, I didn't actually try and talk to our plants. What am I doing? The sprout has been watered. It just needs some time to grow. Oh, I guess I can't talk to them. Never mind. Disappointing. What about the ones inside the house? No? Okay. Somebody needs to tune this piano. Speaking about talking plants, you discovered forget-me-not my organic garden had more content than you realize. Was that... Now, have you mentioned that game before? I feel like I'm conflating it with something else in my head. She's not here, is she? Right? I'm just gonna check for Ghost Girl. Nothing. Not in the locked rooms. Nope. Nope. You played through it really fast because of how high-leveled everything is, but it was nice. Oh. That insipid status. I feel like that status matches this music very well. Okay, yeah, it is a game where you grow organs. I was thinking of some sort of mad scientist. Or doctor. But it's been a while. Ugh, why can't I stay asleep? What time is it? You've got to be kidding me, Hermina. Hello? Miss Cross. Hi, Hermina. Come to the kitchen, Miss Cross. I'm waiting for you. That's fine. That's normal and not weird and ominous. Alonzo sent you a message. Corinne, did Gail really die? That's so messed up. I feel like us out-of-towners are so out of the loop. Tell me if you find out more. That it is... Oh, messed up. Hi. Hello, Alex. Hey. The Annihilator? Yay! Hi, Corinne. Let's play. Alex, there you are. Jeez, you really had me worried. Hmm? Why? You disappeared. Well, yeah. Ghosts only appear at night, you know. So... You're a ghost. Yeah! You can't seriously think I'd believe that. Hey, will you play with me? Sure. Uh, okay. Yay! Let's play hide and seek. Okay, I'll hide somewhere in this room and you have to find me in 20 seconds. Ready, set, go! Alex? <laughs> Try and find me. Well, I mean, there's only so many spots. Oh, you found me! <laughs> Good job! Alex, how did you do that? I told you, I'm a ghost. There's no such thing. How? Cool, huh? This is crazy. I like you, Corinne. Let's play some more tomorrow, alright? Sure. I have just met you and I love you. For me to get out of my house. Wow, oh, hey, this isn't locked anymore. I want to snoop. Why don't you let me snoop? Okay, I can't pour water on it out of spite. Fine. Still locked. Still locked. Yeah, let's go find Hermina. The light, like just every, uh, the light reflecting through the window on the opposite side of the screen is a nice touch. Oh, hey. 
Hey, get out of the way. I can't see the TV. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Mind telling me what you're doing in my house? Watching TV? And this isn't your house. Yeah, well, I'm in charge of watching it. And if you don't get out right now, I'll call the police. Ugh. You're annoying. That's strange. It won't turn off. Are there just more ghosts kicking about? Hermina, what did you do? Hermina! You're looking a little shaken, Miss Cross. There is a strange man in the living room, and the little girl is back, and... If you're going to be staying here, you'll need to learn how to cook. What? Hermina, I'm not worried about cooking right now. Please pay attention. Here, take this. Hermina gave you two pieces of bread and a recipe for toast. Corinne, do you not even know how to make toast? I guess not. I'm going to teach you how to make toast, the most basic dish. Toast? Hermina, I... Simply approach the stove and choose which recipe to cook. Give it a try. Ghost toast. Press enter when the gauge is green. Don't over undercook or overcook your dish. What if I like burnt toast? Now let me pick... Should I, oh, I guess I have to actually do this and I'll go right to the inventory. Woohoo. Hey, this doesn't look half bad. Excellent job, Miss Cross. Toast is the most basic dish. If you keep at it, I'm sure you can learn some more complicated recipes. I'll provide you the address of the greengrocer. You can purchase more supplies for cooking there. I can now travel to the greengrocer. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Hermina. Eating well is important. And if any of the house's denizens are hungry... You mean that man? I wouldn't know, Miss Cross. I'll be on my way now. Good night. Hermina, wait. You'll be fine, Miss Cross. They just need a little guidance before they move on. You can provide that, if you wish. You appreciate that they've made the tutorial character into legitimately a really overbearing and weird person who just shows up and bosses you around. Gameplay and story integration. What? What is right? I wonder if I cook toast. If I let the bar fill up more, does the quality improve somehow? No, okay. Good to know. Well, some people like burnt toast. Hey. Oh, you're back. Uh, yeah. Hey, I saw you go into the kitchen. Did you cook something? I'm hungry. I smell toast. I could go for some toast right now. Here, I guess you can have this. Not the burnt toast, unfortunately. That's all for me. Just a cryptic old goth. Good, thanks. So, are you a ghost too? Too? What, you mean there are others here? Yeah. Oh. This toast could use some butter. Or some jam. I don't have any. Ugh, you'd think a bed and breakfast would at least have good toast. I'm gonna be hungry tomorrow too. If I leave you my order, will you bring me some food? Do we have a choice? Sir, where's your order? Sir. Well, a couple of burnt toast aficionados in here. I like mine not... I almost want to say like on the side of... Not underdone. But... I like a little crisp. Um, just so I can put uh, like butter or peanut butter or something on it without the bread tearing. What is another flour? I'm actually going to get a drink of water, too. One second. Gardens and gardeners need to stay hydrated. That goes for all of you, too. Water the mori. 
If you want underdone toast, you could just eat bread. No, it's not the same. Okay, not underdone. I, I explained that well. Just not like it's a, a shingle. I don't want it that crisp. No, I feel like I have to defend my toast choices. Who's playing the piano? You heard that right. There was a stray note. I do just eat bread. But sometimes you want a little toastiness. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> I got this toast discourse going on in here. Look, I love and respect all toast choices. You're all valid. <sighs> Let's see. I learned how to make fried eggs. Cool. French toast. Need. Like, you really didn't know how to cook, did you, Corinne? Any more ghosts? No? Okay, just checking. Unmelted butter on toast. Abominable. We can do bread, eggs, and breaded eggs. Take your pick. And eggy bread. We can do eggy bread. Still Alonzo. Okay. how I'm not saving any any of these files with any particular rhyme or reason. I like how our save icon color changes, though, depending on the time of day. Carrie, you should eat dinner. If you make toast and wait for it to go cold to then butter it, what the hell are you doing? Agreed. What the... What the heck is this? Who the heck taped this to my face? That's a note. Listen up, mortal girl. I need you to collect some things for me. Five candles, a piece of chalk, and flowers with intact roots. It's important. I know you're only staying for a week, so you better get this stuff to me before you leave. Got it? Z. Z. Sorry, I'm Canadian. I should, you know. Seriously? <sighs> Who knew ghosts were so bossy? Oh, cool. I can just... So five candles, chalk, and flowers. Cool. Get an ice cream. Boy, I, I read some stuff in the chat in a weird order, and I, I thought I read egg ice cream. A status update from Cynthia. So upset. Don't talk to me. Hashtag morning. Hashtag loss. All right. I have some ice cream in the freezer. It's a uh, stuff from the like uh, the grocery store blend. That's like a like like sort of like cookie uh, Oreo ice cream, I guess, but with also pieces of like shortbread and sugar cookies in there. If memory serves, who's leaving their junk around? Empty crayon box. Okay. Have a good one, Don. Take care. I hope you survive tomorrow. Oh, I found a candle in the drawer. So these interact arrows lied to me. I can interact with stuff that does not have the arrow on it. Make custards. Yes, you should. Cooking is easy. First, you need to learn a recipe. Recipes can be found at all kinds of places. Try looking in a book. Once you've learned a recipe, try what you've learned at the stove. At the stove, you can look over all the recipes you've learned and see what ingredients they require. Simply choose what to cook, make sure you have the ingredients, and time your cooking carefully so you don't ruin the dish. All you have to do is make sure that you hit enter when the bar is green. Have fun and get cooking! None of my cookbooks have told me about hitting enter when the bar is green. Is that, that, what, is that what is holding me back from greatness? Crumpled up recipe. Hmm, let's see. Cheese omelet. Cheese, potato, and egg. Oh, potato's interesting. Cool. Candle. Flush. That's why your bread was so bad last time. You hit enter too early. Yep. Done in by your own hubris. Wow. Hmm. What's this? A recipe for bacon. All you need is... Bacon! Raw bacon, that is. Surely you can do that, Corinne, right? Make some rice pudding. Ooh, that would be good. 
I haven't, I've made rice pudding before, but it was years ago. Okay, nothing in here. Make sure there's no candle in the drawer. No, okay. I like this lemon picture on the wall. The lemon is in play. I checked in here, right? Yes, okay. Sometimes I'm not as adventurous with my cooking as I should be just because I'm concerned. I don't want to make something and have my dad not like it. Oh, is this your order? Banana, pancakes, coffee, or tea. Looks like a page turned out of a cookbook. I learned the recipe for pancakes. Pancake mix, milk, and egg. Cool. Oh, hey, you're just in my house again. My temporary house. Good morning, Miss Cross. Hey, Hermina. I've always enjoyed this parlor. I used to frequent this place when the B&B &B was operational. During the holidays, Gail would play the piano and the guests would sing along. It was quite quaint. I didn't know you knew Gail. How are your guests treating you, Miss Cross? Uh, it's been interesting. I never thought I'd be running a B&B &B for the dead. Hey, um... Hermina, can you see them? No. Like I said, it is an uncommon gift. Oh, I see. Are there many staying here? There's just a few of them. A little girl and a man who watches a lot of TV. And someone who stuck a note to my face. I see. Departed souls remain tethered to the world of the living because they have some unfinished business or lingering desires. Okay. If you find out what keeps them binded, you may be able to help them move on. That's why they came here, you know. To the bed and breakfast? To you. They're reaching out to you, Corinne. I'm afraid I can't tell you much more about the nature of the afterlife. Some things you'll have to figure out for yourself. Okay, thanks, Hermina. Don't fear your connection with those who have passed on, Miss Cross. All right. Well, thank you. Bacon can be fussy to make to the proper crispiness, though. Your stepmother once started a huge fight with you about it and then refused to cook bacon for the next four years. Wow. That's, uh... A little melodramatic, perhaps. That's how you became in charge of bacon for the household. Is Gail the piano ghost to see the final boss of friendship? I learned six out of ten recipes. Cool. There are only ten recipes in the world ever. Is it a recipe? Oh, it's addressed to Gail. It's a newsletter from his university. I should probably just throw this away. You're not maybe you could give it to his mom, or no, maybe that'd be too painful. I don't know. These flowers look great! Cool. Well, I guess I just... I take the clay pot, too, huh? Okay. But I guess we can't repurpose those. I wonder if I can keep one, if that counts as flowers with roots. And then maybe sell the other two to Chloe. You used to have bacon and eggs for breakfast every Sunday before you moved out. You took over the toast making due to your above toast opinions, but you did make your dad's toast according to his taste. Give the flour a bread. You don't need water, you need carbs. Hello, Corinne. Hi, Mrs. Styron. How are you? Not so good. I got a call from the Dean of Gales University today. He told me about how intelligent and gifted Gail was, how the university was so sorry that a promising student had passed. I know the call was meant to console me, but thinking about how I'll never get to live up to his potential. Did you know he was getting his master's in physics? He had two scholarships. What a waste. He wanted to make a difference in the world, and now he'll never get to. I don't like either of these options because I don't want to invalidate her and her feelings. Saying that she's wrong, but also saying she shouldn't think like that. I mean, neither of these are helpful to say, especially to somebody who's grieving. 
Anybody have any thoughts on what to pick? Obviously, I'm just, uh... What is the turn of phrase here? Uh... Like, passing the buck, so to speak. Putting the onus of responsibility into somebody else. Your only breakfast tradition was on holidays, scrapple and grapefruit. That's still what you do for brunches and things when people visit the house. Ugh. I've never had scrapple, I mean, because it's a regional thing in the States and I'm in Midwestern Canada, but I assume that the acidity of the grapefruit kind of helps balance out the, uh, like, the fattiness of the scrapple. Chicken out and go with the second, done. You shouldn't think like that, Mrs. Styron. I mean, we can't change what happened. It's no good to dwell on what could have been. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry, Corinne, but I think I need to rest some more. No problem, Mrs. Styron. I'll see you later. What's that one conversation fork early in Tales of Symphony where you could say something ridiculously mean to someone? I don't know. I can't rec cause I I don't pick the mean options. Except in that game Princess Debut where I picked every mean option out of spite because all the characters in it were weird and creepy. Alright, I'm going to go to the forest. What am I doing? And it's like, wow, I can't believe Lloyd would say this. Of course Rain approves. Gotta pick anything Rain would approve of. Hey there, Corinne! Welcome back. Hi, Chloe. Say, Corinne, how old are you? You must have been right around Gail's age. Yeah, we actually went to high school together. No kidding! You know, Hermina always send all her grieving customers my way for their floral needs, but they usually be mourning for old folk, grandpas and such. Gail was young, though. It's always so much sadder when the young ones go. Yeah. When he was a kid, he used to come in here and start telling me all about photosynthesis and Mendel and that kind of stuff. I had no idea what the heck he was talking about. That sounds like Gale. Uh, he was always talking about how he was going to be a scientist. Too bad. Yeah, that's, that's an awkward thing. Okay, can I sell to you? Oh, here we go. I'll sell two of them. Yes. Oh! $64! Nice! Well, why don't I buy some more gardening? Actually, I'm gonna see how much stuff at the store costs so I can make pancakes. And then I will use the rest to buy uh, planting materials. It was when the governor of Palma Costa is dying and asked her forgiveness and you could be like, No, you're a garbage dad in person. Okay, that was it. Hey, Dimitri! This is this is where Dimitri from Hypnospace Outlaw wound up. He washed up ashore somewhere and decided to make a green, a start a greengrocer. Can I water this? Okay. Okay. Hey. Can I talk? Hello! Welcome, welcome! Hello. You are new face, yes? You are coming here for the first time, no? Yep. I'm Corinne. I am Dimitri. I sell freshest groceries. You, Corinne. You know Gail, yes? Oh, I... Uh, yeah. How'd you... I see you parking scooter. I know this yellow scooter anywhere. This is Gail's yellow scooter. Oh, yeah. It's his. I'm just borrowing it. Wow, could you sound any more like you stole it from a dead guy? How is Gale? I don't see him for many, many months. Don't tell me Styrons have found the grocer. Uh... <laughs> Why do I gotta make choice? Well, I, I feel like I should be honest with him because the longer this draws out, the worse it would be. Also, I like this this man's ahoge. Now we know what Dimitri looks like. Actually, Gale, he passed away recently. Passed away? Gale dies? No, no, no. Gale Styron is young man. Much too young to die. You must be making mistake. 
It's true. His mother is sick in the hospital, so I'm looking after the house. Dimitri has no idea of this. I'm sorry. You are kind to help Julia. I will have to send her fruit basket. It will have to be big fruit basket. Anyway, you are here to do shopping, yes? Today I give you first time shopper discount because you helped Julia. Oh, thanks. Egg. Okay, so we definitely need a banana and coffee. Uh, let's get. Oh, these are really expensive. Oh, it's all my money. <sighs> That's five candles. I wonder if we can find any more elsewhere. Like, do we have to have all the candles right away? Mm -hmm. I feel like I should stock up on stuff since it's the first day. Hmm. I don't want to spend all my money, though. One bacon. Bacon is really expensive. Wow. I'm going to spend the rest on gardening supplies. Thank you for shopping at Dimitri's. I will have to stop by hospital and visit Julia later. And perhaps cemetery to see Gail. I mean, if I don't, I want to buy the candles. I'm hoping there's no hard time limit on that because if I buy the candles, I won't be able to afford gardening supplies, which is how I make my money. I got a racket going here. Okay, so I definitely need more seeds. Okay, that's all I can do for now. You assume it just needs to be done by the end of the week. Yeah, I hope so. Because if it's uh, before then or tonight, then... Eh, sorry! Okay. Seeds. Pot. Dirt. Seeds. Okay. Alright, I guess I should water. That would be important. Yeah, okay. As long as it's done by the end of the week, that makes sense. I'll keep these flowers in my inventory. Hopefully they don't die on me. That would be unfortunate. Okay, so we got stuff. I assume I don't have to cook the banana or the coffee. I didn't buy milk. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well... <laughs> Good thing I looked and I didn't wait until night and then realized I don't... Good. For some reason, I thought I bought milk, and I didn't. Hello, Dimitri. Okay, we're good. I like the way he bobs his head. This man is loving his life after his submarine accident. I realize for anyone watching the stream who has not played Hypnospace Outlaw, they're going to be very lost and confused. Don't, don't worry about it. You should play Hypnospace Outlaw, though. It's pretty good. Right, okay. Cool. Okay. This is the only order, so I assume this is all I need. I don't have to set it out anywhere, I hope. Like, not in the dining room. I assume I just give it to this guy. Interesting that he seems sort of lazy, but drew out pictures instead of just writing what he wanted. This is the only way he gets to express himself. Is there any candles in here? Nope. I don't want to leave. I want to... Okay, I can't actually face down without leaving the room, so no candles. Okay. Oh my gosh. What the What the heck is that? Are you kidding me? What the heck is what? No wait, hang on. 
A message from Nate. Oh, Carrie, it's your bear villager. Hey, Corinne, who's Gail? Is he that nerdy kid who'd always talk to you about your articles in the school paper? Cool, thanks. Worth it. Seriously, what is that? Is it coming from down the hall? Oh, I guess somebody's blasting music. I didn't realize it was in music or in universe. I thought it was just a boss battle about to happen. Hey. Who are you? Get out of my room, you old lady. No. What? No, I'm in charge of this place, all right? Well, what do you want, Grandma? I think you could turn down that music. Ugh. Can't even walk over there. You gotta teleport. If that's all you wanted, then leave me alone. Annoying old people. You know, I can't see you, but I can still hear you. So loud. Let's just turn it back on. Any candles in here I can appropriate? No? Okay. Really? Okay. Well, thanks for the boss music, I guess. Sorry as I habitually check every room to see if anything's different. I mean, I'm sure some of you understand that impulse, right? I know you do, Carrie. Looking at you. Everyone in this game does have good hair. But I think Corinne's is my favorite. Hey, Corinne! Let's play hide and seek! Sure, Alex. We can play. Radical! Okay, I'm gonna hide somewhere on this floor of the house. And I won't vanish, either. Okay, close your eyes. You have 30 seconds to find me. Okay, go, 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 go. No. Behind the shower curtain. In the toilet. No. Ah! Found you. <laughs> wow, you're good at this, Corinne. I even hid in my secret room when you found me. Playing with you is really fun. You're like a cool big sister. Let's play some more tomorrow. Secret room. Cool big sister, huh? Wow, I didn't realize there was another floor to this house. Oh wait, I gotta water that plant. No, go back down. Go back down. I mean, obviously I'd come back down here anyway. But it's the principle of the matter. Coronation! Oh, that's too good. Candles? No. Sure are a lot of locked doors in this house. It's almost like they don't want you snooping. There are some books here. One of them is a cookbook. Let's see. Banana pancakes! Alright. A cardboard box. There are books, a sweater, and a set of headphones inside. Oh... This room... Gail... Are you here? This bookshelf is stuffed full of thick textbooks. I remember this textbook from high school. Physics fundamentals... Oops, I didn't mean to... Advanced physics. Lots of formulas and diagrams. Gail left a lot of notes for himself in the margins. Banan cake. Banan keki. Astronomy. Lots of beautiful pictures of space. I know fairy lights are still a big trend, but I feel like they would give me a headache, personally. And like if a bulb burned out somewhere, it would drive me crazy after a while, I would imagine. Gail, do you have any candles in your room? No? Okay. Why did you steal a textbook from your high school? Hey, you probably paid for that. That stuff is not cheap. For Corinne. Hope this helps. Thirty dollars? For me? Who left this? I would say it would be Hermina, but it wasn't weird and brusque enough. I feel like she would just show up and thrust the money into my hand and say nothing else. I'm gonna stay hydrated again real quick. Well, hello, hello. Hey, did you get my order? Order? 
I want pancakes, coffee, and a banana. Try to keep the pancakes fluffy. Oh, and I like the coffee black. I could use a little coffee myself right now. I got it. Got the food yet? Yeah, here. Pancakes, banana, and coffee. Wow, you really did it. I didn't think you'd know how to make pancakes. Not bad. The pancakes are actually pretty decent. Although my wife's pancakes are fluffier. Well, I'm not your wife. She knew how to make the best coffee, too. This coffee is alright, though. He feels like the kind of guy where, like, that's probably the most praise you're ever going to get out of him. Ah, but I want to watch cartoons. After this program ends, okay? The nice boy lets me watch whatever I want. Well, I'm not a nice boy. I'm a mean old man. That you are. I read this already. Oh, this is, yeah, 7 out of 10. Cool. Why would he need candles with all those Christmas lights? Well, you can't summon a demon with Christmas light, can you? Can you summon a demon with Christmas lights? I need to investigate. No, no recipes in here. Just checking. Okay. Oh. Sweet red flowers decorate this grave. I didn't water these ones the other day. Oh, it doesn't need any more. Okay, I was worried about it. I thought these are the white flowers I had to keep water. But no, we're good. Some sort of hipster demon. Ugh, that's the worst kind of demon, bar none. I'm from a circle of hell you probably haven't even heard of. Have I done everything I need to? I think. Probably get another, like, one and a half hours of sleep. If Corinne is anything like me. <sighs> okay. Lizzie uploaded a photo. Remembering the good times. It's a very blurry picture of Lizzie's science class. Gail is there. Good times indeed. Yeah. Get this before you leave. Okay, right. I did visit the graves, yes. I did water the new flowers that had shown up. I guess, I, I wonder if I can buy more crayons and shove them in there. That'd probably be a nice gesture, right? Keep hoping the candles will magically restock. Oh, hey. Julia has quite the collection of books. Hi, Hermina. Good morning. Do you enjoy literature, Miss Cross? Of course. Actually, I want to be a writer. An interesting ambition. Finding success as an author will certainly have its challenges. I know, I know. My mom wanted me to go into business like she did, but I just... I didn't want to spend my life doing something I didn't genuinely enjoy, I guess. I'm glad you're pursuing your passion. I find it admirable. How about you, Hermina? I mean, when did you know you wanted to be a funeral director? That's kind of an unusual career choice. I didn't always want to be one. But the work suits me, and it's rewarding in its own way. Don't give up on your ambition, Miss Cross. Don't worry, Hermina. I won't. This library has always been enjoyed by the guests of the bed and breakfast. It is, it is kind of a weird... I don't want to say weird vocation. It's just not something that you see a lot of children clamoring to be. I don't think I would be able to handle... Oh, I don't know why I'm in the side. People grieving. I think that would be too much for me. Don't do business school, not even once. Yeah, forget passion, just don't do business school. Oh, I can't I can't just leave it the boss battle music on. Oh, the plants no longer wilted. Quick recovery time here. 
nothing else I can snoop in here. No, no, okay. Nice that the fairy lights are no longer on. I guess the ghosts are conscientious about electricity consumption. You want to stay in this B&B &B with a cool books room? Yeah, it seems like a nice place. My dad likes to talk about this bed and breakfast he went to with my mom in Victoria. Uh, maybe like six or seven years ago for their anniversary. Oh, I was already in here. And how, like, the food was always, like, freshly made and delivered every morning. Like, or del the ingredients were fresh and local, and it was all cooked by the proprietors of the B&B. &B, and, like, they could sit. Every morning they'd have, like, a cart with tea and coffee and pastries given to them. And, uh, uh, they said, like, outside there were a bunch of hummingbird feeders, and they could just watch hummingbirds do their thing, fighting each other, I guess. Okay, OJ, fried eggs, bacon. New girl aspires to make a B&B &B on her property in Colorado. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what do I need? Okay, I can do fried eggs and bacon. Cool. Oh no! Ah, heck, I gotta buy more bacon. Ah. <sighs> Oops. That seems about right, though. Corinne's never cooked bacon before. Something in the mail. Oh, another letter for me? Corinne, thought I'd send you some more spending money. Don't spend it all at once. Love, Mom and Dad. A hundred dollars? Nice. That'll buy me so many bacon. When you were little, you had a family friend who was an undertaker. Wow. Yeah, how does one get into that line of work, thinking about it? These flowers look great! I know when I was taking Japanese lessons in a classroom setting, uh, there was a woman in there who was in the process of uh, going through school to become a mortician, which is pretty cool. And your dad went to Ireland. He was staying at a B&B &B in some town that was run by the same family as the local butcher shop. So they had many bacon and many ham and all kind of meat pudding. You are bringing home the bacon. And he says sandwiches in Ireland are weird because people insist on putting raw onion slices on them. No! Okay, if it was like cooked and caramelized, that's fine. But raw onion, no. I have to draw the line somewhere. I, okay, raw red onion would still be weird in a sandwich, but I could handle raw red onion. But raw white onion, that disgusting acrid taste, no! Ah, oh, I remember once my family brought me back this uh, shawarma from a Lebanese place. And it was delicious. Their food was always really good, except, I guess, in their putting toppings on it, they added raw white onion, and it just ruins everything it touches. Which, I don't, I guess, I guess, like, raw white onion is just a cultural thing in some places. But here, like, I can't, I can't, uh. Hey there, Corinne. Hi, Chloe. Everything okay? You look kind of glum. Yeah, I'm alright. I just, I was thinking about our talk the other day. About Gail and how he wanted to be a scientist. I mean, he even went off for all that schooling. Then he had to go and die. I guess it just got me thinking about how important it is to really live, you know? I mean, we could die tomorrow and we wouldn't know it. That's true. You know what? I'm gonna eat some ice cream today. I'd tell the rest of you to get some ice cream, but some of you have already taken that initiative, I see. I wanna live life to the max, Corinne. Oh, okay. That sounds nice. Enjoy your ice cream. Okay. I can afford more of these, right? Well, I can get all my ingredients. Let's splurge. Yeah! I want to go to a fancy B&B &B in Ireland. Okay, buy my flowers. Chloe, buy my flowers! There we go. Just one. One whole flower. $32 is pretty good. I mean, it's not a huge profit considering the materials, but I don't know. I guess I just like the satisfaction of getting all this money at once, you know? Yeah, go get some lunch. Oh, and cakes. What kind of cakes? 
Miss Corinne. Hi, Dimitri. Do you enjoy Dimitri's freshest groceries? You must enjoy because you are back for more. Come, come, a young lady like you should be eating lots. That is the best way to live. I mean, you're not wrong. Let's get two bacon this time. I'm just gonna stock up on some stuff just so I have it. Uh, candles are even more expensive now, but I got crayons, so there's that. Sully working my way up. Other day after talk, I am visiting Julia in a hospital. She snows, says no one is visiting her until you come. I did not know she was in hospital, of course. Still, Dimitri is impressed with your kindness. It's the least I could do. Oh, hey, Kelly. Everything is more expensive. Yeah, he was giving me a discount. Just, uh, I feel bad I didn't buy more candles back then, even though I couldn't really afford it. Now, I feel like a chump for stocking up my pantry needlessly when I assume, like, there's no situation that's gonna come up where, like, oh, you should have had these ingredients with you already to make this food for these ghosts. No dating, just friendship. And ghosts. Oh, hello, Corinne. Hi, Mrs. Styron. How are you feeling today? I'm very tired. It seems no matter how much I sleep, I'm always exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that. How are you doing, Corinne? Is looking after the house much trouble? Uh, no, it's been fine. Nice and easy. I'm glad. Do you have enough money for food? Yeah, I mean, I'm not spending very intelligently, but... Yeah, no worries there. That's good. Maybe you'll find this recipe useful instead. I should save scum in case you burn the bacon again so I can save scum proper bacon. Yeah, I got a bacon scum. It's for hash browns. I used to make them for Gale all the time. Mrs. Styron gave you a recipe for hash browns. All you need is one patet. Crispy. It's cheap and easy to make. Thanks, Mrs. Styron. This looks great. I should let you get some rest now. Thank you, Corinne. I'm very grateful for your visits. Sure thing, Mrs. Styron. Yeah, he said he was bringing fruit. Dimitri. Dimitri, where is your fruit? Need to avoid that bacon fat burning you. Stolen by Mrs. Styron's roomie. Oh no. Yet again, it's Mirror Mask. <sighs> Satisfying. Oops. Hang on, I gotta actually stand in front of the spigot. There we go. I'm gonna put these crayons in a box. Then I'll save and I'll make some bacon. Or I guess I'm saving and then making bacon. And or saving and then crayons and then making bacon. You know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's much better. I don't know why I like, used to leave it on the floor, though, but okay. Okay, let's make in some bacon. Thinking about Helena chewing ghosts out over their taste in music. Haha! -ha. There we go. Wow, that took so much of my energy to make bacon. Okay, so we got fried eggs and bacon and orange juice. Okay, we're good. Is there anything else I need to do? I think we're good. Make bacon and go to bed with bacon in your pocket. Well, technically it's in the fridge, but it's gonna get cold and unpleasant. But I mean, you're dead, what do you care? Oh, give Alex crayons. Cool. I 
don't know if I'm crazy, but I think I can feel him. I think he's here. What? Stop! Ow! What the? Stop! What the heck is this? A book? It's a book of spells. Oh, hey. Oh, it's you. I wanted to talk to you. You here to call me old lady some more? Ugh, I hurt your feelings or something. I can't be more than a few years older than you, dude. Whatever, just listen up. I need a favor from you. Why should I? No, let's go what favor? I mean, we are technically the temporary proprietors of this B&B. &B. This is just customer service. What favor? I need you to bring me back to life. I mean, don't you already listen to Evanescence? Ayo! Sorry, that was really bad. What? That book of spells has a spell of resurrection. Look, look at it. Renaissantium, the spell of resurrection. It gives a specter a physical form. Though not wholly living, the spirit will be visible to all. What? What the heck is that? What does that even mean? It means I can be alive again. And I want to live. Sasser. Is this said, do you think? It doesn't sound like that to me. It kind of sounds like you'll still be a ghost. It says you won't be wholly living. And so? I don't care. That's good enough for me. Besides, if it works on me, you can bring back the others, too. The others? Yeah, the kid, the fat guy, and Gale. Gale? Listen, just do it, alright? You're the only one who can help me. So just do it, alright? Did she just say... Kale? No, she said Kale. Reverse necromance me immediately. Did Alex give us a drawing? Is that what is on the beams? I think so. I think it's the cheat. I guess it could be a dog or an airplane or a starfish or any other things, but I'm gonna say it's the cheat. Gather these items in a circle and chant the word Renaissantium. Five candles, chalk, rooted flowers. Oh yeah. Huh. Some of the text is missing. I assume, well... I mean, unless this is from two different ghosts. Because I don't know why they would give it to me twice. A message from Loop. Lupe? Lupin the third. Hi, Corinne. Just wanted to ask if you're doing okay. I didn't know Gail, but I knew you guys were kind of friends or something. I'm here if you ever want to talk. Oh, thanks. I think. I'm always dubious of stuff like that. Like, they're just hoping that, you know, we'll cry on their shoulder or something. A note? For me? I'm not in my room. Come find me. Oh, look, there's pictures everywhere. Press H to resurrect. <laughs> Yeah, this is the new press F to pay respects. Maybe because I wasn't acting on it yet, maybe. Oh, it's a burger. Look, candles are expensive, okay? Like, like do you want to finance your resurrection? That would make things go a lot faster. Kickstart my resurrection. Oh, look, like, they're even thematically appropriate drawings. Still loud. Oh! Are you... Gail? Corinne? Corinne Cross? Corinne! It's really you! Wow, fancy running into you here. I haven't seen you since high school. You look great! How have you been? How have I been? Gail, you died! Oh, yeah. That. It was rough. But I'm all better now. I mean, I'm still dead. 
But that's better than dying was, I think. Gail... No, it's all right, really. It wasn't too bad. I certainly didn't expect that you would come here to look after the house. My mom asked me to. Well, your mom is... You know... How is she? Well, she's still pretty torn up about it. Oh. But this is great! You're still here! I can give your mom any message you want. I don't think that's a good idea, Corinne. Why not? Well, because I'm still dead, and that's not going to change. Oh, I guess so. Listen, Corinne, I just have a few things left I need to do. I promise I'll be out of your hair soon. I'm just not quite ready yet. Go visit your mom. That might, in some respects, be more painful. Oh, a star. Alex has been here. Still locked. What is this painting? I can't see very clearly. A snake that has eaten a light bulb. That is my interpretation. The artist is dead and all that. Except the artist is actually dead. Just checking. Just checking. Gotta be thorough. Hey. Hey. Talk. Hey, Corinne. Hey, uh... TV breakfast guy? Alex. My name is Alex. Oh. Oh, what? The other ghost, the little girl. Her name is Alex, too. Ugh, you're kidding me. Okay, yeah, you can call me Shoes. Shoes? Yeah. Shoes. Yep. That's not a name, buddy. Well, that's what my friends called me when I was alive. Okay then, shoes. Hey, did you bring me breakfast? I want fried eggs, bacon, and OJ. I'll see what I have. All right, Alex is somewhere. Totally forgot. I will find her before the night's over. Here you go. Here you go. Awesome. Mmm, not bad at all. They were definitely getting better at cooking. Still not as good as my wife's cooking, though. She was a wizard in the kitchen. Uh-huh. Sometimes, on special occasions, she would surprise me with a big breakfast feast in the morning. Eggs and pancakes, hash browns, toast. It was the best. Breakfast, or brick feast, she'd call it. Get it? <laughs> Clever. Hey, why don't we have a breakfast? Huh? Yeah, how about in two days we get everyone together and we have us a big breakfast? Everyone? You mean the other ghosts? Yeah, shortstop, red, bean pole. Yeah, those aren't their names. What do you say? I guess we could do that. Excellent. You'll have to gather up ingredients, though. There has to be a lot of food in it for it to be a proper break feast. You know what? I'll write it all down for you. I'll leave a list for you tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Excellent. I can't wait. Break feast. That's a lot of food. So basically an English breakfast. Traditional English breakfast. A lot of food. All fried. In high school you had a friend who went by Sock. So it's not that weird. How did they get the nickname Sock? Is there a story behind it? I would like to know. If that's not too private to them or yourself. Oh, the grave is decorated with delicate lavender roses. There we go. I had too many purple roses in my town at Animal Crossing, so I went on to Nook is On. I just gave a bunch of them away. I, like, if you go in the marketplace there, people are selling roses for quite a bit. So I just put stuff on there for free. Like, here, take the roses. And then when I deliver them, sometimes I'll give them a spare, like, two blue roses, which, for those who do not know or care about Animal Crossing, are very difficult to acquire. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, Corinne. You found me. 
Hey, Alex. What are you doing here? I was hiding. From who? No one. You were sleeping, so I was just playing hide-and-seek by myself. By yourself? How do you play hide-and-seek by yourself? It's easy. You find a really good hiding spot, and then you wait there and see how long it takes for someone to find you. That's an interesting take on the game. Yeah, I used to play it all the time when I was alive. So, um, do you want to play hide-and-seek? Okay. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna hide somewhere in this whole house. No vanishing either. You have one minute to find me. Okay, go, 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 go. Can't leave the mortal world until he, is, until he has had hash browns. I mean, that's fair. Sometimes you need them potate. Even if you're dead, potate. Even in the afterlife, potato. Alex found the ultimate hiding spot and died from starvation, didn't she? I was kind of wondering something like that. Or not starvation, but like... Well, something. Ah! Sorry, I can't be very loud, so you'll just have to pretend that was convincing. Found you! <laughs> You're really good at this. I thought there was no way you'd find me. You're pretty good at hiding, Alex. No, she's not. She's just standing in the middle of the room. And you're a great finder, which is why I have a prize for you. A prize? I found a recipe for my favorite dish in the library. You can have it. Scrambled eggs. Wow, cool. Thanks. I just wanted to say thanks for playing with me. Oh, it was a lot of fun. You had a message board and his username was Sock. He never explained why. But then you started calling him Sock in real life, too. I'm glad you're enjoying your blue roses, Boogie. Slowly breaking the Animal Crossing economy by giving away high-ticket items for free. And I already, I already did my flowers. I think I did all the stuff I need to for today, right? Well, tonight. You know what I mean. Guess we gotta get more candles and maybe try and figure out what on earth the H was. Hash browns. That's probably what it is. Hash browns. Leave an offering of pan fried potatoes. The fact you checked the bathroom made me think a bathroom made you think of how much of a power move it would be to tell someone you were hiding somewhere in the whole house, but then not leave. That's what I was thinking of. And I thought that seems just cheeky enough for a small child to do. I would do it. A status update from Kyle. We should like do something to memorialize Gail. Like put a bench in the quad or something. Thoughts? Ah uh, yes, the Gail Memorial Quad Bench. Home to all the sweaty jocks. Is Hermina like just chilling somewhere that she's often want to do? Let's ask our creepy neighbor the next time she invites herself in. Sorry, the bench would be for nerds. I'm just gonna check this door is still locked, right? Yeah, okay. I really wish there were more candles. They're so expensive. Ugh. I'm not made of money. I'm made of flowers and cool hair. Here's the menu for breakfast. Think you can get all this stuff together? I know it's a lot, but just do the best you can. I'll cook some dishes too, so it's not a big deal if you're missing a thing or two. Okay, scrambled eggs, French toast, hash browns, banana pancakes, cheesy omelet, breakfast platter, Oh, we don't have the breakfast platter yet. OJ coffee, okay. Why don't I save, just in case, and then make some of those. Let's ask Hermina what H is. 
I mean, if it's not hash browns, then I'm at a loss. What if it's Hermina? Except it was a lowercase h, so. Here, just double check. Scrum legs, French toast, hash banana pan, cheesy almu. Cool. Oops. Oh, I jumped the gun. Ah, heck. Well, that's not bad. We should be fine for the rest. Okay, so we still need... Cheesy omelet, breakfast platter, milk, OJ. I'm just gonna do a little inventory. I mean, I still know what the breakfast platter needs, but... Uh, let's see. So, we need one egg, one milk, two eggs, one potato, one cheese. Uh... Two egg, two milk. Eh. You should make omelets tomorrow. Not a banana. I'm gonna forget everything. I'm very sorry. I'm not good at retaining that sort of information. Thank you for visiting me. Sure thing. How are you feeling? The doctor said my condition is slightly improved. He said being out of the house is doing me good. I'm glad to hear it. I suppose being alone in that place was just depressing me. It feels so empty without my family there with me. I didn't even have the heart to put away Gail's things. If there's anything I can do to help... You've already been a big help to me, dear. The thing about grieving is that the only remedy is time. That... Oh, dear. That's my sister calling. I guess I haven't lost all of my family. Corinne, dear, would you excuse me? I'm terribly sorry. No problem, Mrs. Stry Styron. I'll see you later. You would think you would get more than one milk out of a bottle of milk unless you're buying small cartons. Or Corinne just doesn't understand the proportions and all the recipes, so she just dumps the whole bottle in. Hi, Chloe. How's the life living going? Oh, Corinne, it's going great. I ate ice cream, did some knitting, and woke up at dawn to watch the sunrise. It's nice you stopped to smell the roses. <laughs> I'm a florist. I do that all the time. You know, if I was really living life to the max, I would quit this job. You don't like being a florist? Heck no! It's not like I wanted to be one. Thing is, my grandma started this store. Then it was handed down to my mama and me. But isn't the store named after you? Exactly! She was the first, Chloe. My mama was Chloe Jr. and I'm Chloe the Third. Uh, wow. The business is alright, but sometimes I wish I could do my own thing. Maybe start a knitting business or something. I guess there's no such thing as a knitting business, though. Well, make the first one. Right? Okay. That's pretty good. Nonsense, that's what Etsy is for. <laughs> Give Corinne the shop. And maybe that's like a good ending. Or Corinne takes over the B&B. &B. Hey, Miss Corinne. How are you today? Feeling sad? Depressed? Huh? No, I'm alright. 
Dimitri wants to be sure Miss Corinne is doing okay. Losing friend is always hard. And Dimitri doesn't mean lose friend like time I lose friend at shopping mall and I cannot find him for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, thanks Dimitri. I'm okay. Gail's gone, but he's uh, still around, I guess. Yes, spirit of Gale stays with that, yes? Ah? Uh? It is in smiles of children and song of bird flying through sky. It is life all around us. Oh, but yeah, totally. Now, what can Dimitri get you? Dimitri is good guy. Okay, two egg. Uh, oh, we have a banana. Okay. Cheese, OJ. Uh, we need milk. Uh, uh, okay. I hope, I think that's it. Did I get a potato? No, I need a potato. Boy, I hope that's enough. I'm gonna feel like a ding dong. Uh, okay. I am definitely gonna save scum this cooking. Do not judge me. Budget's a little tight, and I'm clumsy. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, banana pan, cheesy omelet. You're the one who suggested it, so no judgment. That's true. Okay. Cool. Hey. Very nice. And I think that's everything but the breakfast platter, yeah? Yeah, okay. I don't know where to get that one. I'm assuming we'll stumble across it maybe tomorrow. We still haven't seen Hermina. Like, I've checked the whole house, right? Okay, I do have all five candles. I got chalk. I got flowers with the roots still attached. I, I hope that's that counts. I'm just gonna double check the rooms. We haven't seen Hermina creeping around everywhere. Yeah, I'm assuming maybe he'll make it for us, I hope, if I can't find the recipe. But maybe the outcome would be better if we made everything ourselves? I don't know. I think there's multiple endings to this. Hermina has a life, Corinne. Yeah, but her life is bothering us. I mean that in a nice way, but... Tutorializing us? Being cryptic at us? Allowing us to bask in her cool old goth energy. Okay, she's not in here, I guess. Weird. That's just part of her life. What did she do before Corinne? Wake up! What? Oh, it's you. Angry teenager girl. It's Zara. Oh, that's a pretty name. Whatever. How's it going? The spell? Did you gather up the items? Uh, it's going all right. I'm working on it. There's one more ingredient you need. I scratched it out of the book because, well, it. Hmm. What? What is it? It's a hair. You need some of my hair to cast the spell. Okay, so just give me some. Uh, hey moron, I'm a ghost. You need real hair from my real body, not my spectral form. Uh, so... Your... dead body? Dude, no! Come on! I know you know that old lady who runs the cemetery. All you have to do is find out where I was buried, get a shovel, and- Dude! Zara, I am not going to dig up your body, alright? 
but it's the only way I can get back to life. It doesn't bring you back to life, it just... Ugh! Will you just ask her? You don't know what it's like to be dead. I'm tired of this stupid B&B. I can't even imagine what's happening to my band, or my family, or... Or... Ugh! Just ask the cemetery lady, would you? Grave robbing. Grave robbing. You know, it's funny because we haven't run into one yet, but one of the classes in Darkest Dungeon is a grave robber. Regardless of whether, whether or not we do it, I'm gonna, I want to name a grave robber Corinne when we get one. Hi, Corinne! Are you here to read? Maybe in a bit. What are you doing here? Just reading a book. What's it about? A book? What's it about? Huh? What? Really? Yeah, tell me about what you're reading. It's a book of funny poetry. This guy is really good at rhyming. It's all these wacky stories. See, look at this one. Oh, I know this one. I loved these when I was a kid. Wow, really? I'm just like you. Cool. You're so nice, Corinne. Nobody wanted to hear me talk about books before. Oh, Alex, I feel ya. I feel ya. I think it's great. Reading is important. I'm kind of a writer, you know. Wow, really? That's so cool. Can I read what you wrote? Oh, well, uh, it's not quite ready yet. I'm still working on it. I guess I'm not a real writer yet. Oh, she's blushing. Oh, Corinne. I think you are. If you like writing, it doesn't matter if you finished a book or not. That's sweet of you, Alex. I like playing baseball. I think that's what I want to do when I grow up. So, I'm a real baseball player. But I guess that's not going to happen, huh? Alex. Ah, oh, jeez. It's okay. Being a ghost is fun, too. Jeez. Oh, hey, it's Alex and Alex. Double Alex is all across the library. Oh, hey, Corinne. Hey. Nice to see you up and about. What are you up to? Preparing for the breakfast. Sorry, breakfast. I've been reading cookbooks to try and find some good recipes. Here, I found this one. Oh, good. Simply combine pancakes, fried eggs, and bacon. Oh, boy. I've got to make more stuff. Think you can manage that? A breakfast platter? Sure. Seems simple enough. Awesome. You know, I never realized so much goes into cooking. Look at all these steps. How do you beat eggs? What? You put them in a bowl and whip them with a whisk or whatever. Corin, you learned to cook, like, five days ago. I don't think you get to take the high ground here. You really don't know that? I've never cooked before in my life. Why not? Although, to be fair, Corinne is a college student, and this guy is older and was married, so... Mm. Yeah, she's an expert now. I don't know. I just... I always... I guess I just thought it was women's work. Boo! You're kidding. What century did you die in? I know, I know. I just never realized how much work goes into a breakfast until I tried having one of my own. I should probably have helped my wife in the kitchen more. I guess I'll just keep researching stuff for breakfast. Breakfastception. He looks sort of ashamed of it, at least. Yeah, I guess better late than never, but it's still frustrating. Hey, Bean Paul. Nope. Aha! Oh, hey, Corinne. Hey, Gail. What are you up to? I'm reading all the posts in my Insta face. I don't do- I don't read that. It's weird. Isn't that depressing? Not really. It's actually pretty funny. Check it out. Gail, I miss you so much. You were such a special friend, and I'll never forget you. What's so funny about that? We had one class together, and she called me Gary the whole time. <laughs> You're kidding. What a phony. Check out this one from Eric Reeves. He posted a selfie from my funeral. <laughs> no way. Classy. Jeez, Gail, I didn't get to go to your funeral. 
I was out of town. I'm sorry about that. Ah, oh, you don't have to worry about that. I just... I'm really sorry you died, Gail. Thanks, Corinne. That means a lot. I'm just glad I'm here now. <laughs> Look at Megan Arano's status. I'm a hashtag! Hashtag for Gail Styron? Jeez. Right? <laughs> I don't think half these people really mean what they say. But somehow I still appreciate it. It is kind of nice. I mean, I think everyone really misses you. Even the phonies. Thanks, Holden Caulfield. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're really great, Corinne. I missed you when you moved out of town. I missed you too, Gail. I think you were the only one who read my articles in the school paper. They were great. You should definitely keep writing. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. I wish they would stop using these old pictures of me. Look how much acne I had. <laughs> it's not that bad. My skin finally cleared up and I had to go and die. Life, huh? Or I guess I should say death, huh? You're awfully chipper about all this. I always try to look on the bright side of things. No kidding. Hey, Corinne, I better get going for now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, okay. See you, Corinne. Gail is a cheerful dude. I respect him, too. What was he checking his Insta face on? There's nothing there. Ghost phone. Where is her Mina? I am distressed by the fact we have not seen her Mina. If people were right about him, he's a good kid. Okay, so just a breakfast platter. I'm just gonna check. So bacon, pancakes, so I'm gonna need, let's see. Two eggs, uh, three eggs. Yeah, so three eggs and one bacon. Oh no, I have bacon. I'm gonna save scum before I do that though, but. Three eggs and a bacon. That should be fine, I guess, okay. I swear I'm gonna forget something and then I'm gonna save after I don't have enough money and ruin everything. Then who is ghost phone? Blue flowers decorate this grave. They look pretty in the moonlight. What grave? There's no grave. Is the whole tree a grave? What if Hermina was dead this whole time? Do I need bacon for breakfast in addition to the platter bacon? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Yeah. I got enough bacon, right? I got. Oh, I'm gonna cook more bacon. You guys got time to finish this since there's two days left. It'd feel weird breaking this into two streams. Krissa updated her status. Can everyone stop posting about Gail Styron? This isn't the place for that. You guys are seriously pathetic. All right. I got the chalk. See? It's here. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Okay, wait. I just saved. I'm going to go make that bacon. Right now, hopefully I don't get interrupted by Hermina. Cool. Okay. So I got bacon, I just need pancakes and fried eggs, so I just need three egg? Yeah, just three egg. And then I should have enough. Oh, there you are! Hermina? Good morning, Miss Cross. You're looking ill-rested. The ghosts are keeping me up. 
One of them wanted me to talk with you. Oh. She wanted to know what happened to her body. Ah, let me guess. She's attempting to bind her soul to the world of the living. Uh, yeah. She needs her hair. Yeah, I thought you can't talk with them? I can't, but I know how it goes with these restless spirits. Tell her she is wasting her time. Huh? Her body was interred on my property, but what she's looking for isn't there. My corpses are cremated before they interred into the earth. The hair is gone. But binding a deceased soul to the mortal world is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. No good would come of it, Miss Cross. I can assure you that. Tell your spirit to forget that idea, and try to forget it yourself, Miss Cross. So I bought all these candles for nothing? You know how much money these were? Who sells candles for $25 a pop? Bunch of stupid hot garbage. They're probably like the really fancy... Uh, what's, what's a name for a fancy candle? Like, what is that fancy candle brand that they sell at Bed Bath & Beyond? I almost said Bed Bath & Breakfast. It's not quite right. Okay. Was this box here before? I don't think it was, was it? Hi, Miss Styron. Oh, hello, Corinne. Tell me, Corinne, would you like a microscope? I... what? A microscope? I don't really know what I would do with that. When Gail was in middle school, he begged me for a $300 microscope. He was always so fascinated with all kinds of sciences. I remember he insisted it would help him to understand the world better. I said it was too expensive, though. Now, I would buy him a thousand microscopes, if only I could. When he died, I ordered that microscope. It was just sent to me. I don't know what I was thinking. What am I supposed to do with this? Ah, jeez. Okay, I have to pass the onus of responsibility on to you again. Do we tell her to donate it or keep it? Your fancy bergamot candle was $25. Made by some local lady who donates some amount of proceeds for animal welfare. Oh, see, that's good. See, that's that's an expensive candle I could get behind. It's just the weird-smelling, big, mass-produced ones. I'm just going to hydrate myself again while people decide. Oh, the Yankee Candle Company. Thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay, donate. Give it to a future science child. Well, why don't you donate it? Donate it? You could give it to Gail's university. It'd be a nice way to remember him. And Gail would have loved that. He'd love to think he was helping others to learn about science. I, I see. That's quite a nice idea, Corinne. Perhaps I'll give the university a call and ask if they would have a use for it. Cool. I'll see you later then, Mrs. Styron. Goodbye, Corinne. Thank you for your advice. She's smiling a little more. That's nice. Lots of science children don't have a parent who can buy them a fancy microscope. That's right. Maybe I'll buy some more supplies today. Oh, but... I only have one day left, and flowers take two nights to grow. Well, maybe I just want to talk to Chloe. Corin, glad you came in today. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, what's up? Corin, what do you want to do with your life? Huh? Oh, well, uh, I want to be a writer. Writing, huh? Yeah, I'd like to write novels. Maybe books for kids? I see. I've been thinking a lot about that kind of stuff lately. So you really like books and reading books? Yeah, of course. But isn't it hard to make money as an author? Uh, well, it's hard at first. You have to establish yourself and all. But I really think I can do it. And I've wanted to be an author since I was a kid, so I have to try. I see. Well, that's really inspiring. 
Best of luck to you, Corinne. Oh, interesting, I can still- oh, I was gonna say, oh, I can still buy seeds, even though it's the last- second last day, but... <laughs> no, I'm just broke. Do you say anything else when I pick the chat option? Come on. I'm glad you're going after your ambition. Now that's living! I guess I should have chatted to her in the other days, too, huh? Whoops. I'm gonna get what I want. And that's gonna be shoes. Oh my god, shoes. Welcome, Corinne. I'm glad you're here. I am having question for you. Oh? What is it? I'm wondering, when did you meet Gail for the first time? Uh, I can't really remember. We were always in school together. He was just always... there. You are in high school with him? When his father passes away? Yeah, I remember he missed prom because he was at the hospital. That was a really rough time for him. I... I felt like... I should... Well, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. First time I am meeting Gail is when Styron family first moved here. He is small boy, but still has big glasses like old grandpa. I'm pretty sure he was born with glasses on. <laughs> uh, I am sorry. I'm not meaning to keep bringing up sad subject of Gail. It is just on mind a lot lately. And don't worry about it. It's nice to remember him. Oh, I'm sorry. You're coming into shop, yes? Okay, we need two egg. And, oh god, I have no money. I forgot to sell my flowers like an idiot. Ding dang. Was it just two egg I needed? Or was it three egg? <laughs> well, we have $96. I think we can afford three egg. It was Threg, okay. Two for fry egg, one for pancake. That's right, okay. Food is fresh as ever, so buy lots. Three egg. Thank you, Corin. Dimitri appreciates your business. I need to chat with you real quick. I always remember first time I'm meeting someone. That's why Dimitri is such a good storekeeper. I think some keep keeper some people are just made for this kind of customer interaction and more power to them, but I don't have the fortitude for it. Okay. I'm gonna save before I burn everything in this platter. <laughs> You sort of miss working food service. What part of it do you miss? I mean, I appreciate that it's not a sedentary job, I suppose. And you meet people. And it's good to be sociable. I mean, it's definitely helped my social skills. Um, I mean, I still get really exhausted talking to people. But, I mean, I can do it just fine now. Okay, it's fried egg, so I want to make sure I was making the correct egg. Cool, okay. I don't know why I have to cook this too. I mean, the stuff is already cooked. Maybe I'm just microwaving it. Uh, the interaction with customers? Okay. Oh, we had to buy more milk. That's a good thing I looked. Yeah, I'm assuming that if we had let him cook uh, one or two dishes that were missing, they wouldn't turn out good. Because he's never cooked before. And we're an expert, obviously. We've been doing this our whole life. Cool. Okay. One thing I don't love about my job is the back pain. Who boy, man, the back pain has been something else lately. Even right now, dear God. I mean, it's not as bad as when I finished work. When I finished work, I was 
standing around waiting for my dad to come pick me up and it was just it was just agony just standing there oh okay did we do all of our daily stuff Zara scratched out the part about her hair I can't believe she wants me to go dig up her corpse Tonight is breakfast. I didn't expect it, but I actually ended up running a B&B &B after all. What? Zara? This is so bogus. What? I was using your laptop to look up some stuff and... Don't do that. My band. They got a new lead singer. That was my band! I'm the one who got everyone together. I'm the one who wrote the songs. It, it's not fair. Zara, but it's okay. You'll bring me back to life and I'll go get my band back, right? Zara, it doesn't work like that. And it's impossible. What? Why? It's impossible for me to get a sample of your hair. When you died, your body was cremated. It's all gone. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, maybe she has like a hairbrush at her home that wasn't thrown out. I mean, I don't know when she died. Zara? Hmm. Just got to snoop around before we go join people for the break feast. I don't know why I have such trouble pronouncing that. Break feast. Break fast. I'm sure I've said it a half dozen different times so far. Can I snoop in this locked room yet? No. Man, that window would be such a pain to keep clean. Ha, <laughs> pain. <laughs> I mean, pun unintentional, but I'll take it. Oh, I didn't I didn't check a uh, Insta face. A message from Cindy. Hey, Corinne. Heard you were staying at the Styron house. What the heck is up with that? Isn't he dead? Eh? Okay, thanks. Very good. Okay. What? Oh, look who it is. I was wondering if somebody was playing the piano. Corinne! Hi, Zara. Hi, Gail. Ugh, get a room, you two. Was that you playing the piano, Zara? What? I... No, I don't like crap like that. <laughs> this is real music. Can you be Chuni if you're already dead? Sorry about that. She's mad at me because... Well, never mind. Long story. No problem. Hey, Corinne. Let's dance. What, to this? Yeah, doesn't this music kind of make you want to dance? <laughs> I mean, I was gonna leave it up to you guys, but no, we have to. Uh, okay, sure. Incredible. Oh, uh, wow. What? We are really, really terrible at dancing. <laughs> Shut up. Maybe you are. I'm awesome. I mean, that's true. We can't see Corinne's, like, lower three-quarters of her body, so... Well, at least half. So maybe she's doing some real sweet moves that we just can't appreciate. Like, she's, a uh, river dancing. <laughs> Corinne, I think you're really great. You kind of make me wish I wasn't dead. Gail. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't say things like that. Hey, I'll see you at the breakfast today, okay? I just inserted a word there. No, oh, don't fall in with a ghost, Corinne. Still loud. Hang on, gotta tend to flowers first. I mean, I guess they're all good, but you never know. Cool. Anybody? Oh, wait. No, Alex is in here. Hey. 
Corinne. Hi, Alex. Sarah told me we're having a big breakfast feast tonight. Yeah, the breck feast. Breck feast? <laughs> Is it somebody's birthday or something? Why have a big feast? Shoes insisted. Nah, just, just cuz. No reason in particular. It was Shoes' idea, but it sounded fun. Wow, that's awesome. It must be so cool to be an adult. You can do whatever you want and eat breakfast whenever you want. Wow. It's not all fun and games, you know. Adults have to be responsible, too. Oh, I guess you're right. Responsibility. Hey, Corinne, um, do you like having the house clean? I mean, personally, I like it, but actually maintaining it is very difficult. Sure, I try to keep it tidy. I mean, that's kind of why I'm here. I'm supposed to be looking after the house and stuff. Okay, um, I had to go, but I'll be back in time for breakfast, okay? There's just something I have to do real quick. Well, now I have to investigate what it is. I don't want to accidentally trigger the next part of this. Is confessing to us your unfinished business on this mortal coil, bud? Don't strap us with weird ghost baggage. Is she going to take down her art? No. I cherish his drawing of the cheat. That's what it is. I will not hear otherwise. Yes, she better not. I was going to see if she's around somewhere. Before I trigger the next bit of the story. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, she's got a home star hat. Clearly it's deliberate. Oh, the baseball bat's gone. I guess she's picking up after herself. All the toy cars and stuff she left around. Maybe that's just what she's doing. Why wouldn't it be the cheat? Yeah, I guess she's just tidying stuff up. Did she put the crayon box away? Nope, still here. A good kid indeed. Is the ball put away? Yes. Okay, uh... Oh, I like your rabbit slippers. Corinne, I hope you're ready for breakfast. I know I put a lot of stuff on the menu, but as long as you have most of it. I'm ready. Yep, I've got it already. Excellent. Wow, you got it all? Impressive. Give it here and I'll get everything set up. I handed shoes the food. I've been practicing cooking myself. I've made crepes for the feast. Crepes, look at them. That's pretty impressive, shoes. Yeah, if Pauline was here, she'd be so amazed. Pauline? Your wife? Yeah, I wish she was here. I didn't even know I could make anything like this. If she were here, I'd, I'd whip up a breakfast just for her. I'm sure she would have loved that. Hey, I'm all ready for the feast, if you are. I know shortstop is ready, and I think I saw Red and Beanpole in the parlor. Come talk to me again when you're ready to get started, all right? No rush. Will do, Shoes. Let me just check the garden one more time, make sure that Hermina has not magically... Can Hermina join us? How do ghosts eat tangible human food? I would like to know. Invite Hermina to ghost brunch. I want to, but she doesn't seem to be around, so never mind. I'll say one more time just in case I miss something, but I think we should be good. Lucky number seven, I guess. The same way they're interacting with tangible human objects fair. That's just a thing they could do in this universe. Ready to start the breakfast? Mm-hmm. Awesome. It's time for breakfast. Oh, uh, you made a sign and everything? I bet Alex helped with that. Look at that coloring job. The feast begins. Breakfast! Wow, this actually looks pretty good. I've never seen such a grandiose breakfast selection before. We have a few people to thank for this. Mrs. Styron, because this is her house. I hope she gets better. To Mrs. Styron's health. 
But most of all, I think we'd all like to thank Corinne. Oh, jeez, it's really not anything special. You're more than a breakfast chef or an innkeeper. You're a friend. The best friend! I guess we could have done worse for a medium. To Corinne! Thank you. Thank you all. Now let's dig in. I wonder if it isn't colored if you didn't bring her the crayons. I was wondering that too. I ate way too much. Ugh, what? Where? Did I fall asleep? Well, shoes? Hey, Grin. What's going on? I... I thought ghosts can't appear during the day. They can't. Well, not usually. But I'm moving on now. You are? I realize what was bothering so much, and... I know I can't go back and change anything, but... At least I know now. And... I guess I feel, you know, it sounds cheesy, but I feel at peace. That life I knew is gone, and it's time for me to be gone too. Shoes. Thanks for letting me watch the TV and for breakfast. And sorry I complained so much at first. I thought the food was missing something, but it wasn't that. Good luck, Corinne. You too, Shoes. Thanks, Alex Jr. My last day here. I should make the most of it. Oh, it's a present. There's a note. Corinne, just wanted to say thanks for breakfast. Breakfast. Yours, Gail. He left you flowers. Ah, oh, geez, thanks. A present and a note? Old lady, we need to talk. For now, take this. Z. Z. Whatever. There was a candle in the box. Wow, thanks. A present. A note? Hey, Corinne. Breakfast is really fun. I bet all that food was expensive, though. That's why I'm giving you my allowance. Don't spend it all in one place, okay? Sincerely, with best regards, Alex slash the Annihilator. $15? Oh, man, I feel kind of bad. I mean, I guess I don't know what she was going to spend it on, but... A note? Corinne, breakfast was awesome. I left all my leftover ingredients in the fridge. Feel free to use them. Have a good life, shoes. Uh -huh. Oh my god, shoes. Thanks, Annihilator. Wait, so I'll... Huh. There is a new game plus, although I don't know what it entails. Oh, there you are. Good morning, Miss Cross. Hey, Hermina. That was quite the racket last night. Oh, yeah, the ghosts wanted to have a big breakfast party. I hope he didn't keep you up much. Don't concern yourself with that, Miss Cross. You certainly seem to be enjoying yourself. Not at all! This has been the worst week of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned so many things since I came here. And I think I can actually help these people. I'm glad to hear it. Hermina, I was wondering, do you know why I'm able to see them? It's a power a rare few are born with. It's not something anyone can decide on. But I've never seen a ghost before in my life. At least, I don't think so. This house is gifted in the same way you are. It holds an energy. That's why it's very fortunate that you came here. I see. I'm glad to see you're embracing your gift, Miss Cross. It's definitely been interesting, to say the least. That's it. I might go visit Julia later. I've been meaning to call on her, but I find hospitals to be terribly depressing. This is coming from a former funeral director? Funerals are about saying goodbye and making peace. Hospitals are filled with people clinging to the barest threads of hope. I never thought about it like that. Ah, oh, they creep me out, too. Well, let's go check Instaface. Agatha updated her status. Nobody understands what I'm going through. Unlike most of you, Gail and I were actually friends. I, I hope Gail has, like, no I idea who she is. Oh, 
I assume we have to meet the other ghosts and get them to move on, maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's locked again. I guess that was Shoes' room and he's left, so. Where is everybody? Moshi, Moshi. No, okay. Nah. You should learn how to break locks, or pick locks, I should say, not just break them. Which reminds me of some post I saw the other day. It was like a, a mod for Skyrim, which I have not played, but it made it so it added a laugh track to things, like when you're trying to pick a lock and the lock pick breaks, uh, the laugh track plays. And I think if, like, if you get killed, we gotta talk to our alive friends, by which I mean Dimitri. Oh, that's true. And the other ones too, I guess. Oh, that was you who retweeted. I co didn't rem I couldn't remember who did. By the way, the uh, icon for this game is a stack of pancakes. Hello, Corin. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Dimitri. Corin, you are a smart young businesswoman. I'm not really into business. I actually studied writing. Life is business. Business is life. Let me tell you secret of success. Sure, I'm all ears. Secret is customer loyalty. To me, all customers are like family. If groceries too heavy, I carry. If tire flat, I get air pump and fill up tire. Why am I doing these things? Because I care for customer. Because without customer, my business is nothing. It shows customer Dimitri is not just salesman. Dimitri will put some care to the groceries, yes? Dimitri is friend. Sure, I get it. Same thing applies to any kind of business, whether business of writing, or friendship, or even business of business, or running a bed and breakfast. Exactly, especially for bed and breakfast. Customer loyalty is so important in hotel industry. Thanks for the advice, Dimitri. You are welcome. Advice is just advice. You can use or you can not use. Also good advice. Buy lots from Dimitri. I can still buy stuff. I mean, I mean I'm good, but thanks. Business of business citation needed. Oh, and you thought of that post when I talked about breaking locks. Dimitri is pretty wise, yes? Yes, yes you are. I like that he specifically brought up friendship. You are right. He is our alive friend. Corinne! Good, you're here. It's urgent. Huh? What's up, Chloe? Okay, I guess it ain't really urgent. But I've been thinking about this life stuff and all. And about whether I should stick with what's safe or do what I really want. And I just... I don't know. What do you think, Corinne? Ah... Uh, Stability is important or follow your dreams. This is like Chaos vs. Order in Splatoon 2. I mean, I would take a third option where, you know, don't throw everything away and drive halfway across the country with nothing but the clothes on your back. But uh, I think, you know, if it's all stagnant, it's kind of dull. But follow your dreams. Okay, done. I think you have to follow your dreams. I mean, if you spend your life doing something that doesn't make you happy, that's kind of sad, isn't it? That's true, that's true. Mm, but I need money. I guess some things are easier said than done, though. See, that's what I mean. Even if I wanted to follow my dreams, what would I do? I love to knit, but you can't really make any money doing that. Yes, you can. Somebody said earlier, Etsy. Or, like, make your own knitting shop. Come on, talk. I have some thinking to do. Yeah, run the store and do knitting. Oops, not home. I meant to go to the hospital. It was an H1 and it was at the top. Hi, Miss Styron. Mind if I visit? Miss Styron? Oh, I'm sorry, Corinne. I was lost in thought. I've been thinking a lot about Gail lately. I mean, I wonder what he would think if he saw me like this. I think he'd just want you to feel better. Yes, that does sound like Gale. He was such a sweet boy. 
I wish I could just see him one more time. I wish I could tell him what a wonderful son he was and how much I loved him. You know, I, I think Gail knew that. When I talked to him uh, in high school, I got the sense he really loved his family. Really, that's comforting. Oh dear, you're making me tear up. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... No, it's just... You're a very sweet girl, Corinne. I just wish I could hear those words from my son. I'm quite the mess. Would you mind excusing me, dear? Sure, Miss Styron. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, I got more flowers if you want. More flowers. Maybe we help the ghosts move on at night. Hopefully it's not going on too much longer. I have to work early in the morning. We have to open half an hour earlier now. Woohoo. A status update from Max. I feel like if Gail was alive, we would have been total bros. Good. Oh, hey. Big Alex. Corinne! Hi, Alex. Do you want to play? Sure, Alex. Yay! Actually, I think I'm done playing. Really? Yeah, I mean, playing is fun and all, but I've been thinking about it, and I can't just play here forever, can I? All I ever wanted was someone who would play with me and talk with me, and I just wanted a friend. And... Now I have you, Corinne. So, I think I'm really happy. I'm really happy we met, Corinne. And I think I won't regret anything at all. Alex. So, um, bye, Corinne. Thanks for everything. Ah. Uh, I had so much fun. Thanks, Corinne-san. I had a lot of fun too, Alex. Good. Yeah, I'm assuming this is locked now too. Yep. Summer hour change is still in effect. Well, it was decided in a big meeting of managers a few days ago that instead of opening at 6, we or opening at 6.30, we have to open at 6 now. Just abruptly. Her ratty cut-off jean shorts, chaotic child energy. Oh! I can't. Let me investigate. Oh, why is it not letting me investigate this? Oh, no. Can I water this? Cool. I can't investigate whatever this is. It's not uh, letting me... No! <sighs> is that a hairbrush? What if it has Zara's hair on it? Well, it wouldn't. What if it has Gail's hair on it? What if I could, like, uh, bring him back to life with the ritual? That would be weird. I think it would make things weird for everyone. Still got band-aids on her knees. Ghost band-aids. Oops. Zara! No. This is last day, you have to move on now. Oh, nobody? Where? Buh? Did I miss a room? Nope, still can't night drive. Still can't put on some cool tunes and drive through the night. Just checking. Just checking. Oh, I just checked all of these. Maybe in the morning, I guess? I mean, I watered the plant up there, but I can't interact with that mirror. I hope that's not like a weird bug or something. I, I can't go to sleep just yet. Okay, so I'm missing something, obviously, but... She in a room, maybe? 
Oh, there you are. Okay. We need to talk. Hey, Zara. I've been doing some thinking about the spell and the hair, and I guess I never really thought it would work. Even if the hair hadn't been cremated, I just... I didn't... Hmm. I could ask her, are you afraid? Are you afraid? Shut up! I mean, of course I am. I wanted to go to college. I wanted to tour with my band. I don't want it to end here. It's so unfair. You're right. It's not fair. I'm really sorry, Zara. Well, did you manage to collect all the ingredients for the spell? I mean, aside from the hair. I keep thinking I should be able to get it from the hairbrush up there, but I'll just say yes. Yeah, I collected everything. But without the hair... Just listen. I want you to do one last thing for me. What's that? I... want you to use the spell on Gale. What? Think about it. You can help him to stay here. I bet his mom would get better in a heartbeat. But the hair. His body was probably cremated too. Don't you know where we are? This is his house. I'm sure you can find one hair of his somewhere. It's your job, Corinne. You're the only one who can see us, who can talk with us. You could bring Gail back. I don't know if all this stuff is for real. But what if it is? If there's even the smallest chance it could work? Just think about it, okay? If you find some of his hair, come talk to me. Aha! Okay, we are doing necromancy. Oops. Let's go, let's go. This is not... Hang on. Him. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Okay. There are still some hairs on it. Gail's hair. Freaking called it. Shouldn't we ask Gail if he wants this first? Too bad. I don't know where he is. Did you find it? Yeah, I found his hairbrush. Then we might be able to bring him back. Okay, are you ready to try? Sure. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Okay, everything's set up. All you have to do is call Gail over and loudly say the word Renaissantium. How do I get Gail over here? Duh, just call him. Okay, Corinne, I... Yeah? Just good luck. Okay, here goes. Gail? Gail! Corinne, what are you doing? Gail! I noticed my hairbrush is gone. Well, uh, you don't need it, do you? Yeah, I was gonna use it to brush my ghost hair. But seriously, did Zara put you up to this? No, well, I mean, she's the one who told me about all this, but... Hi, Bao Bao. Gail, I can bring you back to life. What? It's a spell, and I don't know how it really works or if it will even work, but if it does, you'll be alive again. Well, sort of. I mean, you'll be visible to everyone. You'll be able to see your mom and everything. Corinne, all I have to do is say one word, and the spell will bring you back. Corinne, you don't have to do this. I, I'm not sure about this. Okay, I'm leaving this last one up to you guys. Do we necromance or do we not necromance? I'm gonna get one more drink of water. Do it. Necromancy is a terrible, terrible idea. So I say do it. He doesn't want to be necromanced. <laughs> but for science magic, well, I do have a save from a little while ago. I'm gonna do it. Trust me, Gail. Okay, I trust you, Corinne. I have all the ingredients and everything is all set up. All I have to do is say the word. Then say it. Renaissantium! Corinne! Gail? Did it... 
Did it work? No. Nothing happened. I mean, I thought I saw a light or something, but I feel the same. But the spell, I... I really thought it would work. I have to admit, I'm actually a little disappointed. Being able to stay here, being able to say hi to Mom again. I'm sorry, Gail. No, it's okay. Don't be. I'm happy that you tried it. That means a lot to me. Part of me wishes it worked, but a part of me is glad it didn't. Gail? I just... I don't know what quality of life I would have had like that. It's tempting to stay here longer, but I have to move on. I know. I'm glad you were here, Corinne. It makes me happy we could see each other again. Me too. Goodbye, Corinne. Just that? We don't get a CG? Ah. Uh, can't even kick these candles over out of spite. But we watered this last plant. Oh, even after being watered, this plant looks sick. Oh. Yeah, it was his brush. I mean, it was in his room, so... Zara, don't make me run around looking for you. Zara! Uh... No, let me save. Zara, it's getting late, please. No. No. Hermina, your dumb ghost won't leave. She vanished, but she didn't ascend. She did not move on, vanish, right? Or did I just completely forget that happened? Which is entirely possible. My back hurts so bad, you guys. So bad. It's the end of the week. Oh, she did ascend. Okay, I'm just... My last night here. I guess this is the end of my week here. It'll be kind of weird going back home now. Necromance the tall guy instead of me, bye. Yeah, I, I, I thought she would come back later. I didn't realize it was an ascension because we didn't get a CG. A status update on Gail's page. Hi everyone, I'm deactivating Gail's page. Thank you for the kind messages. Gail is in a better place now. Who wrote that? I assume not us, but... Okay, last ditch Hermina check. Good luck, bye. Why don't we only get CGs for oops, shoes and, and uh, Alex, the Annihilator? You know, I'm impressed that on her note to us that Alex was able to spell the Annihilator correctly. I'm gonna check this anyway. I don't know how old she is, but just basing on her everything, I'd say that's probably quite a difficult word for someone of her age group. See? See? She's still here! Hey, Cross. Oh, hey, Zara. I'm out of here. Really? Yeah, I mean, I saw what happened yesterday, and I mean, I guess I was just holding on to false hope. But I'm glad you at least tried it. I thought you were gonna chicken out for sure, but you surprised me. Gee, thanks. Anyways, I'm out of here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm totally over this. So, yeah. Thanks, Gurin. I guess you're not a totally terrible medium after all. It's... It's been real. Peace out, old lady. Bye, Zara. Check the plant in his room. Okay. Okay, I'm checking his plant. I feel 
feel so empty without Hermina just showing up. Still sick. This one's fine. Apparently, I did not look at it too closely, but the itch page for this game mentions a prequel game, I think involving Hermina. I didn't look in depth because I didn't want to spoil anything happening in this game, but... Miss Cross. Hermina. You're looking even more tired than usual. Did you do it? Did you attempt to cast the spell? Yeah, it didn't work. Do you believe in magic, Miss Cross? Nope, but I didn't believe in ghosts either. Hmm. You should go visit Julia at the hospital before you leave. Oh, okay. Good idea. You just just gonna walk away? Oh. It's a letter from Gail. Corinne, can I ask you one last favor? When I was in the hospital, I wanted to write a letter from my mom. Just some last things I had to tell her. I never got around to writing it, though. I guess I was afraid of what it meant if I actually wrote it down. My mind's been clearer since I died. I was hoping you could deliver this for me. You can tell her you found it in the box of things from the hospital. Thank you, Corinne, for everything. Yours, Gail. Gail's letter. Can I read it? No. It's not like Undyne's letter in Undertale, where you try to read it, but it's the the envelope is so thick that you can't manage it. Gail, you can't put stuff in the mailbox if it's not going through the postal service. He's trying, okay? He's dead. Hi, Dimitri. Hello, Miss Corinne. How are you today? Well, it's my last day looking after the house. So soon! I feel like I am just meeting you yesterday. Yeah, the week really flew by. Corinne, don't forget my secret of success that I am telling you. I won't, Dimitri. Kindness you put out in world is always returning to you. No matter what business you want to be doing. My store is not very big, and maybe I am not a millionaire. But I think I am big success businessman all the same. Definitely. Can't... It. Good luck with all your business endeavors, Miss Corinne. Ah, oh, thanks. He's supposed to be so smart. Look, sometimes smart people have gaps in their knowledge base. I mean, same. Hey there, Corinne. Hi, Chloe. It's my last day looking after Mrs. Styron's house. I'll be heading home today. Wow, so soon? Can't believe it's only been a week. Feels like it's been longer somehow. You're telling me. I'm glad you stopped by before you left. Last night, I was thinking about our talks. You know, about how you want to be a writer and me never really aiming to be a florist. It really got me thinking, you know, about following my dreams and stuff. Well, I don't think I can just stop and quit the florist business. I mean, I need the money and it's been in the family for so long and all. But I decided I can still pursue what I want outside of the flower shop. I'm gonna open up one of them internet stores and sell my knitting there. Yeah, see, Etsy. Chloe, that's a great idea. Right? Anyone can open one of them online stores nowadays. I figured I could knit during my downtime here and, well, who knows? Maybe people will like them. I'm sure they will. I'll be your first customer. Ah, oh, golly, Corinne, you're the best. Here, I actually made this for you. Chloe gave you a hand in its scarf. Oh, look! This is totally awesome! Thank you! I love it! Glad you like it. It looks great on you. Very fashionable if I do say so myself. Styling. If you're going to the hospital, tell Julia I said hi. Like this infinity scarf. Oh, Corinne. Good. I was hoping you would visit. Hello, Mrs. Styron. How are you feeling? Much better. The doctor says my week here has done me good. I should be able to return home soon. That's great! That's actually something I wanted to talk with you about. I'm selling the house. What? Really? 
I can't live there anymore, dear. But where will you go? I'm moving to the coast. I have family there and a chance at a new life. But the B&B, &B, you can't sell it. I know this sounds crazy, but I, it, what are you trying to say, dear? I, you don't have to worry. I've made arrangements and the B&B &B will be in good hands. Huh? I'm selling it to Hermina. She's made a very generous offer and she's promised to keep it all intact. You're kidding! I have to thank you for coming to visit me here so often. It meant a lot to a sad, lonely woman. I was happy to, Mrs. Styron. Corinne, no mother should ever have to bury their child. And maybe I'll never be able to think of Gale without sadness. But he would have wanted me to find a way to be happy again. I think so. Life can be hard and cruel, but... It's good to know there's some kindness out there. Definitely. I should let you rest now, Mrs. Styron. Oh, but first, I have something for you. A letter from Gail. It was in a box of stuff from the hospital. I think you're ready to read it? I... I think I am. I gave Mrs. Styron Gail's letter. Thank you, Corinne. Can we keep the scooter? Hermina! Hermina! Hello, Corinne. Oh, she called us by her name. Did you really buy this place? I did. That's amazing! Corinne, will you stay here for a while? The spirits, they reach up to you. They need you. You have a special power. It is a gift. Stay here and help them on their voyage. I will! I will, Hermina. Excellent. I couldn't be more pleased with your decision. And I'll do what I can to assist you. There will be many spirits who shall pass through this place. And I'll have breakfast ready for all of them. Very good, Miss Cross. Shall we go inside and celebrate with some tea? Yeah, let's. Somebody's got to pay the bills, though. Dang, that was cute. Thank you, Cecilia Bishton. I really enjoyed that. Especially the art. Really enjoy this art style. Everybody has good noses, too. Somebody's got to pay the bills. Well, we just uh, deal with some grave robbing and organ selling on the side, right? I mean, Hermina's got the hookup. Ugh, man, my back hurts so bad, but this is worth it. I think this is a nice diversion from everything. Summon the Rock. I wonder if that is the song that Zara kept playing. It summons the Rock Hawk if you play it long enough. Just think about the art style it feels very French cartoons. I wonder if it's the noses. Like the Professor Layton games, people always have defined noses, all distinct. Thanks for playing. Hope you enjoyed your stay. I did. Thanks. And thank you to Bagtree for suggesting this. I think this is a nice thing to revisit. Something nice and chill. Not that I'm not enjoying Darkest Dungeon, but I've unlocked New Game Plus mode. A harder version of the same game with extra content and bonus scenes. I can begin a new game on New Game Plus mode. Cool. Cool. Well, obviously not right now. Right now, it is bedtime. But thank you so much for joining me, everybody. This is a nice little chill time. Sorry it went a little long, but I think we all needed it, perhaps. So, in the meantime, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye!